Hello, hey Elizabeth, hey Patty. Happy Saturday! It was a happy Saturday dance. How are you guys doing? I'm doing awesome. I just had a lovely little trip out of the house, <laughs> which is uh, uncommon. Um, my husband washed the kiddos, and I went to my favorite mineral shop, and I actually went and got... Um, I got something to resell and now I can't seem to put it on the table so that just happens entirely too much doesn't it um let's see I'm good I'm slacking I just did my like last minute pricing you know like a do okay let me get the live chat up too I'm good let's mute me stream yards up okay cool Cool. Beth, hello. Barbara, hello. Welcome in. I like that. I like that. Laura and friends. Darn straight. All right, let's see which... I just want to make sure my audio is on the right thing. You guys tell me, does this sound a little bit better? Or... Oh, welcome in. Welcome to the party. I was thinking I need to write a song. Like, I want to write a song about our little crystal family. <laughs> and then make a music video to it. Because that sounds fun to me. Who wants to be in the music video? <laughs> I'm Claire. Okay. Or hello, new face. Hi. Welcome in. Thanks so much for coming and seeing me and hanging out with all of us. All right. What do we have? We have some goodies. I don't know if you guys saw... The um, ooh, I just threw a pen at myself. That's skill. If you saw the uh, little sneak peek of the crystal unboxings, but all of that is on the table and then some. I got my squirrels in. I got the squirrels. I'm so excited. I love those squirrels, and I know you guys do too. There's only four. There can only be four. And after this, I don't know if I'm going to order anymore. For a little bit because i feel like everyone's probably squirreled out by this time so we shall see how that goes and i don't even know if you guys are going to want these guys but maybe you will i know kitty was interested in one i don't know who else i don't know but we'll see i also have these fun things which i'm pretty stoked about little sphere stands now this is it's got little uh like cellophane on it to protect the outside so they're just totally clear on the sides and then it's bam rainbow so that's cool i got those i have the calcite things that some people like and some people are not too thrilled about i think they're awesome and the flames those flames are awesome um and we're going to do i also have a ton of these little pocket stones that i think are the cutest darn things in the world and those are going to be like like a quick quick claims if i can figure out how to do it quickly like we were having trouble getting them to you because I forgot them I piled like bubble wrap or something on top of them and I couldn't find them but then I found them was that you someone I'm pretty sure it was you I I put them in a little squirrel's nest and couldn't find them but then I did and he made it to his new home his forever home um what else do we have moonstone rainbow moonstone I've been looking for this material everywhere and i finally found one source that had it so i bought a few once again i'm tempted to hoard some for myself but i'll try to refrain from doing that and four spheres in the rainbow moonstone <clears throat> so that's pretty pretty exciting all right and if any if everyone can hear me but we'll get started here really quickly there's just one more thing i gotta check and now I don't remember what it was. I don't remember what I was going to check. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I got that too. You guys didn't see this in the sneak peek, sneak peek preview either. Oh, shoot. My sign is like totally out of date now, isn't it? My most wonderful time of the year sign. Uh, not anymore. It's not. I guess I should take that down. I do still have these bookends over here, too. If anyone's interested in those, we can do a good deal on those. Um, 
I have that tiger head that's super duper sweet. So let's do it. If you're new here, 11 people in the chat. I saw, I did not know that there were so many dang auctions going on tonight. <gasps> Elizabeth, hello. I have derp dogs for days. So um, the selenite glows in my bedroom. You know, I had a giant like selenite three candle holder, like three hole candle holder, whatever you want to call it. On the table, I ended up putting it in my bedroom. <laughs> Four squirrels. Four squirrels, three derpy dogs, and turtles. I didn't tell you about those, but there's turtles. There's two turtles. Uh, and then there's some pigs. One of them, I don't even know what the material is. Oh, that's what I was going to check, too. I was going to see if this is even a thing, if they carve shungite, because I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing that's what it is, but I honestly have no idea. So let me see if I can find him. Shungite carve pig. Does that sound like a thing? Shungite pig, hand carved. I I'm, I'm, don't know if that's what he is, but that's what he looks like to me. Oh, he doesn't look like those, though. I don't know. Maybe you guys can help me. I know I'm supposed to, like, know what I'm selling, but I don't. <laughs> In this case, I don't know what he is. So I'll need y'all's help identifying that guy and i think i think that's gonna about cover it you are gonna have to we're gonna be winging some prices tonight because i don't think i have everything labeled um tumble bags if you guys want tumbles tonight i do have some things that aren't smooth tumbles i have like for example these guys the little hexagon um garnets those are pretty cool and then the pirate tumbles those are fun but instead of just telling you, I guess I'll just show you. So let's turn the camera around. Let's turn the camera around. Oh, da, da, da. cam mic. Camera. Webcam. Allow that access. Okay, see what I mean? I've got a whole C. I love these. I think they're super duper awesome. Is this going to help me at all? Let's see. Sometimes this thing helps, sometimes it hurts. But I have a ton of these like just pocket stones that are straight, like they're all different. Um, I'll do my guess, my best to try to guess what they are. And then I have more, like this is not it, I have more. So these are gonna be kind of rapid fire. So yeah, if you guys are new here, here's what we do. I will show you everything. I'll do kind of like a scan of the whole table. And if there's something you see, put in the chat, whatever it is and describe it the best you can i'll try to tell you what it is as we go over it and if you want to see it up close let me know and we'll go in order of people's requests doing like up close looky lose and everything oh i forgot about these you know i'll sell those on monday i'll sell those on monday okay Alrighty. so let's do it everybody get your fingers warmed up you let me know what you want to see someone at your door bad timing don't they know it's crystal time? Oh, let me do this too. Let me pop you up a little bit so you can see everything around here. Alrighty, move this guy out of the way. All right, we'll start back here and move forward, I guess. So first up, we have these little things, they call them like feng shui uh, crystals. You're supposed to hang them in your window and I can't remember which way you're supposed to face them like it's some if someone in the chat knows what direction like which window like if it in east facing versus south facing etc window you hang them in that i have them hanging in my window in the front of my house because our house is southern facing and when the light comes in it blasts rainbows all over my wall and it's awesome so i have a ton of these this is not it this is just a handful that i have on the table um if we're interested in those i can pull them all out then we have the pocket stones. I have so many of these. These are going to be either three or four dollars depending on size. See, some of them are a little smaller than others. Uh, this is, woo, that's a bloodstone. Most of them are like things in the Jasper family, like bloodstones and Jaspers and agates. But then I've got some of these red Jaspers back here, which is a material I don't come across often. I've got a little hematite one up here that is not in the quartz family, but it's there. I have a couple of these little discs too. They're little ocean jasper discs. Over here, we have a ton of pyrite tumbles. 
I let I put these guys on the table. I don't know if anybody has any interest in these. These are now reduced to 10 bucks. I actually saw one very similar to this in size for 30 at the mineral store I was at today. So $10 is an exceptional price. And I really like the way that the pyrite sits on the pyrite because they're like two different. I don't know. I feel like having a natural spe specimen on top of another one would be really cool. So I just stuck them like that in case anybody's interested in displaying it the same way. On the back table, we have squirrels for days. I do, I do, April, I have two turtles. I'll get to those in a second. I've got four squirrels. Okay, so it's not really for days, but I do have a small squirrel army in the back. There's four of these guys. So if you guys want to see the squirrels, let me know. There's four of those. I have these flame um, desert jasper or polychrome jasper. This one is my favorite, and he will not be priced low because he's awesome. But this is like, that's my favorite. I'm really reluctant to sell it, but he's up there. I've got this little Jersey specimen or um, amethyst specimen. He's hanging out back there. We've got these guys, which are really cool. The Native American head, like this amethyst Native American head, really awesome. Woo! As I hit my deer skull, and I've got this guy, the carved lion head, who Jonathan thought might be a food dog, but I don't know. I'm not buying it. What are the bodies of squirrels made of? It's whatever the host rock is. I, it, it just varies. Usually they're like a big layer of agate underneath the uh, underneath the quartz, if that makes sense. They're not polished up. They're just like a matte finish. If it was po polished like shiny, you can still kind of see some of the quartz in there. And it would really come out. I wish they would do that instead of leaving it matte. Although, I don't know, maybe it'd be too shiny. But so like that one is mostly agate under there. This one is, look, there's like, look at this. This is really unusual on this guy. It's got like a very defined line. This one I almost kept for myself because I thought that was really weird that it was like a point. But that's more quartz under there. And then this, I it's hard to say what this material is. It might be like a chert, which is also something in the um, quartz family. It may be a granite of some sort. I just don't know. And then this guy is very... Agate. This is very much agate under hair. Or chalcedony, I guess I should say, is more accurate. But same difference. And then this guy, I have no clue. I have no clue. But it's really cool. He's super dark and deep and pretty. But I don't know what this... I don't know what the host rock is. But this, this one is really unique, and we'll go over him when we get to those guys. Okay, so we have two turtles on the table. Say that five times fast. Now, this guy, the thing is, I don't know what this stone is. I'm not entirely convinced it is stone. I think it might be, I'm sorry, I think it might be glass. But it's like a really deep purple color, like almost like a dark, I don't know, it's a dark purple. And it looks like it has inclusions in it, but I also see bubbles, so I'm not convinced. And then there's this guy who's like a little flower agate turtle. And I did get a good price. Usually I start these at 13, but not today because I got a good from these guys. So they will not be that, especially these guys will be not anywhere near 13. <laughs> I have three derp dogs. Oh my gosh. Okay, there he is. Why do they look so silly? This one's not quite as bad. These are opalite, by the way, opalite dogs. And then he, I think, is he's the best one. He might be a little more because he actually looks like a normal dog. I don't know what happened to this guy's head. But I'll tell you a story when we get to those of uh, a dog I once knew. Okay, so then we've got some pigs. There's an amethyst, a tiger's eye, and then this guy. This is the one that I don't know what he is. I don't know. He might be a shungite. I don't know. But he's heavy. Whatever he is, is heavy. I don't know. I don't know. He's heavy. And then I've got two rabbits, one rose quartz and one crystal quartz rabbits. I have this, which is specular hematite. That's fun. Looks kind of like goldstone, except this is a natural stone. Goldstone is man-made. 
really cool. There's a handful of those slabs and a stack. We have the optical calcite. This stuff is super duper awesome material, especially if you like rainbows in your crystals. This is the stone for you. So I've got three over here that are a little higher quality as far as being having the rainbows in them. And I have three back here that aren't quite as rainbowy, but are still cool. And the, the biggest one is back here. That thing's enormous. So we've got those. The moonstone palm stone, the moonstone spheres. We have two like medium sized ones and two large ones. And then I have the carnelian spheres. These things are money. I love this one. Another one that I'm having a hard time selling because I just think it's so darn cool. I have this little guy. He's fun. It's actually an agate candle holder. And then all the way back here, that is a big petrified wood slab. Petrified wood. I also have this labradorite. I just, he's been on the table and I like him. So he stays. If someone buys him, great. If not, I don't care because I like him hanging around. He's cool. I like him a lot. All right. Squirrels, I haven't, they're probably going to start at 20 for the squirrels. All of them probably start at that same price. Okay, let's see if anybody wrote anything. I'm going to grab my notebook so I can start a list. Okay, that is kind of moot. I have a piece of paper here with notes on it, but they're irrelevant now. The squirrel herd. Should we start with the squirrels? I do have turtles. Hello, Jude. Welcome in. Okay, I see lots of squirrels, so we'll go ahead and put squirrels first. Turtles. Oh, wow, you guys are just jumping in. Holy cannoli. <laughs> I was going to do this like individually per squirrel. Hold on. Don't, don't, don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Don't start yet. We'll go one by one because unless you guys just want to do it as a choice of. We can do it as a choice of if you guys want. Mookie Pookie, hey, welcome in. I mean, what would you prefer? Do you guys want a choice or do you want to do it individually? Because I just don't, I figure because they're all kind of different, even though they're starting at the same price. You know what I mean? Some might be more desirable than others. That was the way I figured it. If you, you know. All right, why don't we do it this way since you guys already jumped in? When is it? We'll do Carol if you want your choice by 30, and then the rest we can go back and reset it to 20. Does that make sense, you guys? So why don't we do that? I'll show you guys one by one the squirrels, but Carol has first pick at 30, unless you guys are still bidding. We can do it that way. Let's do it that way since you jumped in. Because now Carol's got her cards out on the table and I don't feel like it's fair. So we'll do it. We'll do it that way. She's got first pick and then we'll reset the bid and go about one by one from there. It's like when you purchase a dog, you pay a little extra to get pick of the litter, right? All right. Patty's out in that case. Okay. Are we all on the same page? So Carol's got high bid at 30 to get four, first pick. I'm wondering how long the lag is too. Okay, so let me, I'm just gonna like flash my hand and then count. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, ooh, 14. Okay, we got about a 14 to 15 second lag as well. Okay. Carol's got high bid at, at 30. Jude, did you want to keep going to get first pick or do you want to not do it that way? I mean, do you want to, I shouldn't say not do it that way. That is what I've decided. 
those are the rules of this game right now. It's choice up here. Let me do it this way. She'll get first choice and then we'll reset it for all the remaining ones. These are the ones I have. There's this guy. He's got, these things are so darn cool. This guy, the reason I like him so much is because there's like a black, I don't know, there's like a black layer of agate underneath. So the clusters, sorry. The clusters look like black when you face it this way and they're clear this way. They're just really awesome. No, I'm not limiting her. She's got pick of the litter. There's that one. This guy this is super cute. Lots of clusters of crystals. The only thing too, though, also keep in mind, they have slight wobbles, some of them, but they're, they'll stand. Just they're slightly, I think this guy, this guy's just not completely flat on the bottom. This guy's kind of balancing on one of the crystals back here, and it's like flat there, but he's also balancing a little bit. So he's got a slight wobble. And that guy's pretty solid. That guy's pretty solid. Okay. Crystal, hey, welcome. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna do it that way. She already bid, because now I don't feel like it's fair because she's already put out there what she, you know. Does that make sense? I hope this makes sense. Hopefully you guys are okay with it. So we'll do this. She gets first pick and then we'll start over on the next one. Um, so let me know. Here, let me move some stuff out of the way. I don't know if I can set them on the table without them falling. Oh, no, they're fine. Okay, just kidding. All right, so here's one. Carol, you let me know what you want. I think she's got... Jews out. I'm just going to call it. Calling it sold to Carol for her first pick, and then we'll reset. One, two. Okay, well, that was easy. <laughs> she got these guys. The chubby guy. All right. Thank you, Carol. He's a cutie for sure. Okay. So that was the first one. Let me write that down. And wrap him up. One. First purchase of the night. Okay, I'm gonna wrap him up in a second. Let's do this guy. He, the other thing about this guy too, and this will be starting with 20. Carly Q, hello. He's next on the list. This is the guy that has the host rock that is a like perfect L shape for whatever reason. Pretty cool though. And then he's got this red staining, which is actually um, hematite, iron oxide. Is what that is. He's super duper cute. And then he's got really nice clusters down here. Tote's not going to be sad if he doesn't sell because I love this guy. I just think this is really unique. And then you have the crystal quartz underneath there as well. And then of course his cool little clusters. Hey, Aaron, welcome in. Aaron's in at 20, Jude's in at 21. Carol, did you change your uh, picture? Has it always been that cow, that cute little cow? Ooh, Aaron's, Aaron's at 25. Kitty, hello, you're in time for squirrels. Look at these points back there, those are so cool. All right, I'm gonna set him down for a second so I can Wrap up here. Let me put them over here. Wrap up uh, the first one. So terrible. All right, over here.
Ooh, where's my marker? Hmm, I don't know where it is. Okay. All right, Aaron's at 25. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks, move for notices. Of course. Okay, I'm gonna go to live chat. Alrighty, we're gonna start calling it. Going once to Aaron. Going twice. Final warning. All right, and we are sold to Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. He's a cutie. I like this guy. I like the way his tail flares out. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let me start bit on the next one, and then we will, I'll wrap that one up. Here we go. Starting bit 20. This is the guy that has this like black calcedony under here. Probably technically they would not call that black. I mean, I don't know. It looks black to me. What do you think? I think it's interesting. I like this little guy because he's kind of like a dark brownish. He's kind of very realistic squirrel on his coloring there. Maybe it's like a Jasper or something. I don't know, but his crystals are super duper awesome. So we can show you up close. There's really nice formations on this one. He's really unique. I like him. Let me show you from the other side. I don't know. Which side would you display them on? They're both pretty cool. I'd probably go that side, though. I feel like you could see more. Maybe? I don't know. They're both cool. I'll display him this way. He's super awesome. All right, I'm going to set him down there for a second. I can see. It looks like everybody's going to be gunning for that last one. My brother coming to pick up my sister-in-law. Face palm, male symbol. <laughs> All right, Aaron's in for 20. Ooh, let me get your bag. <clears throat> Also, just so you guys know, uh, this Monday I'll be on at 7. All right, Patty's in at 21. Aaron is at 22. What does the last one look like? Oh, I'll show you in a second. Let me put this in Aaron's bag. Um, on Monday, Miranda, the rehomer, is going to be joining me. We'll be doing stones and jewelry. This is the last one. But you see what I'm saying? Like this crystal is lower than his body. So when it sits, it sits kind of on this crystal and his feet. So he's got a slight, like he's pretty solid, but it's just, he just sits kind of funny. Anywho. Me and my boyfriend love that squirrel, but we don't have the money. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's probably better things to spend money on than squirrels. I just spent money at the crystal shop, which I shouldn't have done, but hey. All right, Patty's got high bid at 23. I'm going to start calling it. Going once. April, welcome in. Going twice. He is pretty, isn't he? Final warning. And we are sold to Patty for, what was he, 23? 23 thank you oh i helped a squirrel that fell out of the tree this past summer until he was strong enough <gasps> you're like bob ross that's awesome if you guys like bob ross he was a regular squirrel handler guy 
he ha you can find old videos of him doing the um joy painting stuff and he like stops during the painting session to show off his squirrel that like chilled in in his pocket <laughs> i can't remember its name it had a name does anybody remember squirrel's name shoot what was that squirrel's name peanut or something like that i can't remember all right congratulations patty Alrighty, enough for the last guy. Last squirrel. And like I said, I don't know that I'm going to be probably Darren. <laughs> Peapod! It was Peapod. You're right, Gina. Hello, welcome, and thank you for giving us that information. That is what it was. It was Peapod. I have pictures and everything. I need to see. I named him Splinter. <laughs> Like Master Splinter, nice. All right, here's the last one. Starting with 20. Last squirrel. Possibly ever, I don't know. He is a beaut. He has probably the biggest tail of them all. The crystals aren't as like long, but he's got a lot of them. And he's got that agate. Like I would love to see this polished up. Little Peapod himself. But he's so cool. Very light colored. I don't know. I feel like this reminds me of like, I don't know, Etsy photos. <laughs> They're always light. Here you go looking. All right, Jude's at 22. Oh, look at him in the front. Ah, it almost looks like he's got a nut, doesn't it? I mean, it's on his belly. But when viewed from the right angle... He kind of looks like he's got a nut under there. This bit here is raised a little bit. Oh, maybe it's not. There's like rough spots in the matrix thing here, which is kind of cool. Oh, look at his feet. Oh, there's like a crystal pocket under his feet. That's pretty cool. All right, Elizabeth has high bit at 25. Look how charming he is. He's so cute. He's got really, they all have really cute faces. With their little beady black eyes. Love it. All right, Jude is out. All right. I'm going to start calling it to Sally. Going once to Sally. No, Elizabeth's box is still sitting over there. I'm sorry, Sally's box. I have a problem with mixing them up. Sally has a box that can fit probably a couple more small things in it, and then it's going. It may go after tonight, regardless. Final warning. And this little bushy guy is going, going, gone to Miss Sally for 30 buckaroonies. Thank you, Sally. Oh, man. Okay, in my camera, I thought that was the Labradorite. And I was like, oh, my gosh, why is it so blue? It's beautiful. Okay. Where? Where is the wrapping? Here's the wrapping paper. Put Mr. Squirrel in this. Darren, yeah, Darren is a girlfriend for sure. All right, so then she needs a D name too, right? But I feel like it needs, like the first thing that comes to mind is like Denise, but I feel like that's not exotic enough. She needs like an exotic D name. I don't know what, but something. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. Diana. Oh, I like Delilah. Delilah. Ooh, it pays to have a mom that pays attention, right? My mom does not watch my show. At least I don't think she does. 
I guess she could be watching. I doubt it though. Okay, so here we go. Turtle time. All right, there are only two. But as I said, this guy, I don't know what he is. I don't know what it is. I don't, I'm convinced that it's glass, but like not 100% convinced, but kind of convinced. I saw a bubble in him there on his butt. He has a bubble butt. Do you see the little bubbles in there? That can be a pretty clear indicator that it's glass, but it looks a lot like stone. So I'm really not sure. This one's going to be a $10 start. I got a good deal on these guys, so I'm going to give you all a good deal. I like this music, too. He's kind of more like a, like a deep purple with a blue undertone. Almost like a tanzanite. If I had to call this a color, tanzanite would be what it is. All right, April's in at 10. Thank you. And these ones are, this one is about two inches. The other guy's a little shorter, though. I misplaced my ruler. That's pretty typical, huh? If you want me to measure my can, but I think he's about about two. They should all be about two inches, actually. Let's see. Yeah. That's my measuring stick. <laughs> the derpy dog. All right. And if there's no other interest, we'll start calling this one. We'll say going once. These were all supposed to be two, but look at this guy. He's clearly not. Okay, that is not clear at all, but he's shorter. He's probably like two and three quarters or something. Going twice. So many derps. Oh my gosh, Sally, you need them all. Final warning. Oh, and a turtle. Yeah, he's perfect for a turtle garden. He will do well. Oh, well in a turtle garden. All right, and we are sold to April. Thank you. Actually, April, I don't know if I have your information. Can you shoot it over to me? Here, let me put my thing in the chat. Jewelry ETC channel. Gmail.com. Uh, okay. Wait, Patty, why are you saying Opalite? All right. Okay, cool. Will we say 10 on him? Thank you, April. Purple turtle. Oh. All right, he's in the bag. How much for the cooters? What are you talking about? The, who wants to guess what that could be? Because the only cooter I know is not on the table. <laughs> Rarely makes it into daylight. A cooter is a turtle? Well, I didn't know. Well, that last one sold. This is the last one I've got. And he's a little agate guy. This one I'm going to start because he, I'm convinced he's smaller. So we're going to start him lower. He's going to be eight for this turtle, this cooter. See, if I call it a cooter, I feel like this is when like people, when you're trying to learn a foreign language and they teach you like insults when you're like, how do you say water? And they're like, oh, it's puta or like whatever. And you're like, oh, okay. So then you go around saying it like an ass. That's going to be me with this. I'm going to start calling them cooters. And then everyone's going to look at me like I'm incredibly offensive you know what i mean he's got a little he's got a little schmutz in his shell there i just noticed i wonder if i can i don't have a brush but i'll try to brush that out this might be flower agate it reminds me of that material it's very similar if it's if it's not but this is definitely stone for sure z's this is agate he's got some really faint really pretty banding throughout there Actually, you know what? This might be a good one. This might be a candidate for the glass magnifier guy thing. Okay, do you see the really subtle banding in there? That's like what, what flower agate has. That's what it reminds me of. 
Here's the bottom of him. All right, America's in for 20. Nice, nice big jump. Harold's in at 21. This guy didn't know he was so popular. What is it about turtles, guys? Tell me, why do you love turtles so much? We've got a couple turtle fans in the audience. I'm just wondering. And if carved animals in general are your thing, I do still have pigs and rabbits and these fabulous dogs. All right, April's in at 23. He is cute, though. He also woo, reminds me of a Etsy picture. Like, I need to take a picture of him. Oh, thank you, Patty. Yeah, smash that thumb, y'all, if you don't mind. Ooh, I like that little inclusion in his shell top right there. He is really cute, though. I got a bunch of them. Donatella had first pick because she's been exclusively asking me for these um a couple of times now and she got one before and she wanted to get two more for the other kids so she got three turtles or will when they arrive and then i just had these two left i got a mixed lot so i didn't know it was going to be in it i was pretty sad to see those dogs <laughs> but it is what it is 30 bucks out sad face well you got the other ones so that's good all right, we're going to call it going once. Why the turtle? Tell me. Tell me, you guys. What's, what is it with turtles? Going twice. I'll tell you what, though. These make really good gifts. They're just like cute type of things that someone could put on their desk or on their nightstand. And just like, or either dresser and just think of you. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well, April. And if you guys have, like, a specific animal you want me to keep an eye out for, Amy says frogs. Hey, Amy. All right, and we are sold to my Patriot friend for 30. Thank you. All right. Oh, he's your, your spirit animal. Nice. I don't know what mine is, but if I had to wager a guess, I would say an octopus. It's all just based on a dream that I had. I'm not, I'm not like particularly fond of octopuses. Octopi. All right. Butterflies and frogs. I'm going to write that. Oh, come to see me on, uh, on Monday, Patty, I found a bracelet you might be interested in. I don't know. It's like an old Monet bracelet and has a butterfly on it. Um, I also, butterflies and frogs. I don't know if you remember forever ago when I found this like cloisonne heart with butterfly on it. It's such a cute pendant, but I've decided to finally let it go reluctantly. All right. Do you all see anything you would like to see closer? I'm the turtle rescue around here. I see one in the street. Move him so he won't get squished. How sweet they are. Are they sweet? Like, can you call turtle sweet? Aren't they just like, they're just doing their thing. <laughs> they're just kind of slow. Moving around. They can move faster. You probably think they were kind of jerks. You know what I'm saying? Do you guys want to do the pocket stones? rapid fire those pocket stones or at least try to i don't know how much is the wolf this guy is this what you're talking about see you see a wolf i see a lion he's starting bid at 75 i think is what i've decided on him this is one that's priced because i don't want to sell i think both of those are going to be 75 for those, each of those, all I want to do is put it in sand and then pour it in silver. Put it in sand and then pour it in silver. Like pour silver over it? Like he'll be like a silver coated 
turtle, right? And then give it away. No. Okay, just kidding. Are you going to make a mold of him? A turtle mold? I don't have worry stones, per se. I have these pocket stones. Because the worry stones, like, either worry stones. But usually when you think of them, you think of having the divot in the middle. These are just like pocket stones. There's nothing. There's no divot. There's no words. But they're awesome. And I have a bunch. The sand is the turtle boat. Okay. Got it. That sounds awesome. Do you have any more? Okay. I answered that question. Sorry. I'm just going back up in the chat. Give it away. I said give it away. So I'd be happy to have. I like that a lot. Okay, sorry. I'm just going back in the chat. I'm just reading. Don't mind me. Okay. All right. Should we do another table scan? Do you guys want to see what's on here? I mean, I feel like everybody kind of saw Let's go like super far back and hope my camera focuses. Right? Nope, it's failing. It wants to see up close. Show you the sweet Jasper pocket stone. These things are super cool. Oh, I do have the calcites, Elizabeth. I know how pumped you are about those guys. Bam. But really though, I love these. Look how much rain. Like you don't understand. It's got so much rainbow action going on in there. I have other animals too. Um, Patriot, if you wanted to see the other ones, I've got these pigs. Oh, the spheres, yeah. Like Neapolitan ice cream, exactly, Michelle. Hello. All right, let's do it. What are we doing though with Carnelian? Hold on. I have a list. Let me see what the list says. Carnelians, I think they're 20 something. Oh, we're starting them at 20. Okay. Cool stuff. Carnelian spears. Ooh. We're going to do this a choice. All right. My hair. You guys get DNA free of charge. My camera's behaving. I guess we'll do this. Oh, no. Look at that. Did you see that color change? Not cool, camera. Not cool. This is what it looks like. This color. Not that. Not that. Why is it turning orange? It's red. It's a carnelian. Okay, so I guess I'll show them back here. So you guys can see the true color of them. Because it's awesome. Dang, look at all the lights I have going on. It looks like a face. Like a derpy light face all over this ball. This one is unique because it's got that pocket that Jonathan would call spider cool because he's cruel. But I don't know what this white, I don't know what the white is. I got to be honest. I have no clue. But they're like tiny white crystals in there. So that one's got the pocket. That's choice one. All right, Elizabeth's in at 20. This is choice two. This one's also pretty. It has like kind of an ombre effect, more or less. It's got some eyeballs on it, some banding over there. All right, so there's choice two. That was for, oh, look at that eye. Oh, it's like a little teeny, teeny, tiny pocket. All right, this is my personal fave because it's uber duber dark. And then it's got this like spot. I don't know. It's like a hot spot. Looks cool. There we go. Thank you, camera. And there's some banding in it over here. All right, Sally's in at 22. Okay, so that's choice three. And then this guy who is technically a carnelian, but he has the least amount of red on him. So if you like more, this one's got more of kind of like, looks like an olive greeny kind of color on there. And some cream. There's orange. And then you have like your reddish pink back here with some banding. These are like, 
remind me of um, billiards. They're almost like the size of a billiard ball. It's been a while since I played billiards, so. My plants are on there. What are you talking about? Oh, Instagram. Oh, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, I'm on there as well. All right, Sally's got hybrid at 22. Mine, I can't even remember. Jewelry, I think this is it. If anyone wants to follow me. It's, uh, you know, a bunch of random photos of stuff. I don't even know. Who's on there? No, oh, okay, well, I will just butt out of your inside jokes, then. I'll send you that cooter for free. Oh, man. Is that, okay, tell me, is that like a Southern, well, it's not, not Virginia Southern, because that's where I'm at, and I've never heard of that. Who, where, like, what locality calls them cooters? <laughs> All right. Are we going to cut it off here? Beth, are you uh, in or are you out? You're the only person bidding right now. The silver cooters. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah? Tell me more. <laughs> All right, Beth, I'm going to start calling it. Going once. Going twice. Final warning. All right, and we are sold. Sally, you have first pick. You can't get my email to work. Did I type it in wrong? That's entirely possible. Let me see. Let me get over to Gmail. Hang tight. Hold on, because it always signs me into my farming channel. I don't know why I so rarely use that email. Okay. Now I just have something from Gary and Miranda. All right, let me type it in again. I probably just screwed it up. Bill me more and let Patty choose. Aw, Patty. Look at you. Pays to have friends in the chat, doesn't it? All right, we've got option one, which has the pocket. That's the only one that's got a pocket. All right, Patty, this is on you to pick. Hopefully you're listening. <laughs> this is two. It's got a little bit of like a crackle thing going on there. That's kind of cool. Three is the dark dark mama with the spot this is my personal favorite and then four is the light colored one say one two three four Aww. too much shipping today shipping killed me man that's like my least favorite part least favorite part of this whole thing is shipping stuff. I love receiving the shipments when I open stuff. That's fun. But yeah, actually like shipping the stuff out, pain in the butt. Oh, look at all the love in the chat. I have the loveliest people in this chat. Truly. I do. I tell my husband all the time. When someone comes in and ruins our fun, that's when I get I get ugly because I don't like it. I like the negativity up in here. Lucid, hey! Oh my gosh, Lucid. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. I have to do something really unimportant. Oh, wait, no, I guess I can just do it this way. Okay, Lucid, look. Look what I found in my own drawer. Everybody look at my crotch. Look. <laughs> look at these pants. I was like, 
looking in my drawer because I'm I was okay. So whoever I'm sure no one no one knows. No, they were in my drawer. I liked your pants so much, and then I realized that I had a pair very similar. <laughs> I'm just an idiot. I already pretty much own them, but these are like black and white. You're um, they are comfortable as heck, but they're not the same brand either. This one's called Candy something or other. I can't remember. Candy. Shoot, I can't. I don't know. I'd have to like remove my clothing to figure it out. I'm, <laughs> I'm not about to do that. Okay, did you pick one? I like the one with the spider cave. All right. Spider cave for Patty. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Sally. What did we even say the price on that one was? 20 Okay. Just checking. I know. I feel really stupid, though, for not realizing that I already own these things. I looked in my drawer, and I saw, like, the pattern peeking out. And I was like, oh, man, those are totally the same dang pants, and I'm an idiot. So I was, I saw Lucid wearing these awesome pants, and, uh. I wanted a pair and I started scouring the internet to try to find myself a pair of my size and I couldn't find them only to realize that I already basically own them. Okay. 22 sphere. To send to Patty. Alrighty. And then who was it Beth? Who had the next bid? Let me look in a second. Oh, you ain't kidding. She's got the clothing thing down like pat. I I mean, I don't know. I do need to do that. I need to get rid of a ton of stuff, to be honest. I've been trying to like clean here and there. Okay, Beth. Beth, you have second pick. Were you interested in one of these for 22? I did my kids... Uh, I did my kids dresser that way and they just pulled everything out. So that was annoying. Yeah. I see I'm whole, well now I'm actually losing weight. Which by the way, what is it with men being able to lose weight like in the blink of an eye and for women it's so much harder. It's very frustrating. I mean, I actually do know why uh it's for the fact that biologically we need more meat to child bear and men don't they need to be lean to provide for the family and go hunting and stuff that's that's the truth but i told my husband today because we're both like eating here and like we're just back to our good eating habits and i was like i lost three pounds and he goes oh that's great i've lost 12 <laughs> damn it yes oh you oh can i wait can i can i gave can i have number two this one or like two of what's left two three four or one two three let's say one two three like let's redo the numbers one two three one and a two and a three and a two and a one two three two one one two three two one i'm gonna make a song you guys about living under a bridge with a bunch of stones and we'll all have a, a family it's gonna happen i was already thinking about the lyrics today about living under the bridge and building our home and together we'll never be alone. <laughs> we got to build our house of crystals and stone. More lyrics to come. Two. Okay. The dark one. Yes. Absolutely. Of course you can. All right. So Beth. Now. Do you want either one of these? We've got the one that's much more red and the one that's a little. Okay, hold on. I gotta make sure Beth is out, and then you then you have pick Christina. And hello, welcome in. Does he? God, it's been. You know what? I was not a big fan of Nirvana ever, to be honest. I have when we're remind me, Lucid, when we have a conversation off air, if we're ever in like on chat together or whatever, I will tell you a story about Nirvana. It's not a very good one, but I'll tell you. But in any case, um, okay, 22 carnelian. 
Yeah. The dark one. All right, Sally, this box. I got to be real with you. I think I'm going to have to ship it at this point. It's getting pretty dang full. Holy cannoli. Did I seriously just do that? Ha. Huh. Okay, I'm good. I almost just cut a freaking hole in my pants. <laughs> Fortunately, I did not. Uh, okay, look, listen, look. I don't hate Nirvana. I hate the song Smell Like Teen Spirit. I feel like it is the worst display of their talent. The lyrics are poor. The music is poor. And they've done way better songs. And I really have a disdain for that song. <laughs> but I, I mean, I don't like hate Nirvana. I just never got into them. Except for that song. Because it was always like growing up on the radio stations around me. That always was like the number one rock song. And I'm like, why? It's so bad. Yeah, overplayed. They had so many better songs than that one. Beth, are you around? Do you want a sphere? If you do not claim one, Christina is here. She would like one too. But first it is on you. Do you want a sphere? Oh my God, Lucid. How old are you? You're my age. Freaking Trent Reznor. That was my favorite band for like 20 years. And I've seen him in concert like three or four times. I can't remember. But it seriously, Nine Inch Nails puts on. Okay. Nine Inch Nails puts on the uh, best show in concert that I've ever seen in my life, ever. I didn't have a crush on him until he gained some muscle mass and shaved his head. Then he was hot. I did not like crackhead Trent Reznor with the greasy hair. Okay. All right, Christina gets first pick, and then Lucid, if you want one of these, you are after. I did not see her pass, but thank you, Patty. I can't see it. Hold on. I'm not in live chat. That's why I'm on StreamYard. StreamYard is the worst, y'all. It is the worst. I'm so sorry. I don't know why. Oh, and Joyce, Joyce, hello. See, you didn't pop into my stream yard either. Hi, welcome in. Thank you guys, 20 people here. Thank you guys so much. Hit that thumbs up if you don't mind or hit a thumbs down because somebody else has already done it. So you might as well, you know, do it too. Um. Okay, and Christina, do you want this one, right? And now I see it, okay, cool. All right, Christina, if you would like number one, let me know. And then Lucid, if you wanted this one, let me know. <laughs> he did? Are you serious? Why? Like, how? what were they doing? Were they really loud? Oh, that's your age. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay. Christine wants this one. You got it. Thank you, Christina. Pardon my stupidity. I'm 34. So uh, we are right there in the same, grew up in the same music scene, apparently. Yeah, I don't like Closer either. I don't really like a whole bunch of stuff off his first album in general. Not, that's my husband's favorite. It is not mine. I like the Fragile was my favorite. No, not the Fragile. Yeah, the Fragile. That was the two album one, right? The two disc album. Wooing and screaming. <laughs> That's hilarious. All righty. Uh, Christina. Carnelian. Thank you, Christina. Oh, that one's going in my head now. Oh, yeah, his stuff went downhill. I think that was, like, Fragile was, like, the pick peak of his awesomeness and then he kind of trickled down a little bit and then he got like I, I, I see I feel like even saying the p word is going to set people off but he got too political in his music and I don't like when people do that because 
I don't know. I just don't. Um, but yeah. But Fragile was such, such, such a good album. I can't remember what he did like right after that, but that one was, wasn't bad either. Teeth with teeth. It took me some getting used to to like warm up to that album, and then I liked it. Okay. Clearly, you've said like my a thing that sets me off about music, which is Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> now I'm talking. Actually, Nine Inch Nails was like the reason me and my husband are together, um, because we shared a common like love for for music, and we we kind of got to talking at a party about his music, so. Oh, anybody, do you guys want these sphere stands? We can talk about these too. Um, oh, it took me a minute. So I have, these ones are four. These ones are three. So I have the smaller ones. These are like the larger ones. These are the smaller ones. So if anybody would like these in the chat, just tell me if you want the $4 one or the $3 one. Wait, am I getting those prices right? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Four dollars and three dollars. And uh, I'm sorry. I can't freaking think. How many you want? Good grief. Okay. Four dollars. Three dollars. How many you want? So these I left the wrapping on them. The ones you guys will get come like this in a little sealed box. They're brand new, unopened. Um, and then these have like saran wrap around them and fuzz stuck on the bottom. Now that's fun. Let's see, can I peel this off? I just didn't want to peel it off in case one of y'all wanted these. Like if I get low, because I only have, let me see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have 10, including this, of the big ones. And then I have, I think, 15 of the small ones. And they hold, like, here's the, the size. These ones are a fair bit larger, as you can see, and it still holds it just fine. I don't think it looks too weird either. You know what I'm saying? Okay, what the hell? Okay, that's really creepy. Um, my kid's toy is going off by itself in the next room, and it's creeping me out. <laughs> yeah, three more will fit in your box, I think. Okay, uh, and then Aaron wanted two for four. You got it. Two large sphere stands. And then Sally is in for, how many did you want? I'm sorry, my bad. Two small ones, okay. Two small stands. You got it. Okay. Aaron, there's Aaron. Two big ones. Okay. Anybody else? Who's leaving? All right, Beth wants two of the small ones and one the large. Woo! Okay, two small, one large for Beth. Oh my gosh, that thing is still going off. How creepy. Okay, so this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three stands. I had to make a bag. I'm sorry. Hang tight. The C for two larger ones, small. Oh, I'm sorry. Two small, one large. That's what I meant. Can I have two three dollar ones? And will I find them on a box? We did that one already. Oh, thanks for coming in, Elizabeth, if you're still around. <laughs> See you later. Okay, Christina wants to...
of each. One of each, one small, one large. Patty. Jade, hold on. I'm missing a bag. For the norm. Oh no, there it is. Okay, just kidding. All right, and then you want two large ones also. You got it. Okay, and yeah, right? Those toys are always going off. They're creepy. Get a hammer. Hey, Gina. <laughs> right? I do. I do need a hammer. Trust me. Our, like All these toys that make sounds, we don't buy them for our children. Everybody else does. They think it's great fun that the kids have these loud, obnoxious toys, and I despise them. I despise the toys and the people that purchase them. Gina's in the house. Welcome to the party. All right, y'all. What do you want to see? Should we do these pocket stones? The little guys? They're not all little. I mean, this guy's... He's thin, though. But he's, you know... And these are either 3 or $4 is what I've decided. I also can do tumble bags if you guys want. We can do some tumble bags with the garnet and the other stuff. What do I even have over here? Pyrite, garnet, some stuff that's not on the table. Um, I've got these. Do, 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 do. I have some black tourmaline. I can throw it in your bag. We can make a tumble bag of some tourmaline and other stuff. I also have some quartz. Lots and lots of points. We can make a fun bag for you if you would like. Do, 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 do. Pigs. Let's do the pigs. Absolutely, Patty. All right, we've got three pigs. We'll do them one at a time. I still don't know. We'll start with this guy since I don't know what the heck he is. Unidentified stone. Looks like a shungite, but I really have no idea. He's got this like inclusion here, and when I catch the light in it, it almost looks like hematite or pyrite shiny uh black oh i i, I don't know yet i don't know yet <laughs> thanks christina i don't know about the tumble bags we can get there though if you guys want to talk about them but for now pig starting mid 10 this guy so like i said i've got three they're all going to be the same starting price. I'm going to try to move quickly on these if you guys want to see. I don't know where Jonathan is because he he was interested in these guys back here. But now he's MIA. There's not much I can do about that. This thing is heavy too. It reminds me of hematite, but like it's not polished up right. Maybe it's a hematite. Yeah, because he's, he's heavy for his size. He's a fatty because he's a pig. So it makes sense. He also has a little... Little face. Okay, so his face. This guy's got a mouth that's open. Okay. That guy's like somewhere in between. And this guy's got like a weak lower jaw. But he's on there. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay, and then this guy, he's also 10. So if you guys want to do Tiger's Eye, let me just note it in the chat. T.E. Pig. That's for tiger's eye. Plus some fuzz. He's got some good shine to him, though. This guy does. Did you all know tiger's eye is in the quartz family? Wee. I might use him for an experiment if nobody... That sounds so devious. If nobody uh, buys him. But he's super shiny. Woo! Shoot, don't break my stuff, pig. My bad. My bad. 
Oh, that doesn't even say pig. <laughs> Patty does not want me to use him for an experiment. She's in a 10. I'm moving fast on these guys. So if there's no other interest, I'm going to start calling it. Going on. And hey, Sally, if you want to talk about the trio of derps, we can do that. Going twice. Ooh, I need a streaking stone so I can start scratching this stuff and figuring it out. Can you check if you got the information I sent you? Yes, I sure can. Yes, I got it. You're good. Thank you, April. All right, and we are sold. <laughs> All right, we were sold to Patty for 10. Thank you, Patty. Uh, his name is Fred. I hope that's okay. Do we have any Freds yet? I don't think no. I don't think we do, and he looks like a Fred. That's the name that came to mind. Tiger Eye Pig. Oh, Miss Patty. Yeah, he's clearly the coolest. All right, now let's do this guy who is theoretically a, per a uh, amethyst. He looks like amethyst to me. There's almost like a chevroning pattern there. It's almost like a smoky amethyst. He's pretty cool. I like his face though. He's got a nice face. He just looks like he's a jolly pig, this guy. I wouldn't even check to see if they had tails. Oh, he does. He's got a little carved in tail right into his booty. All right, so this guy's 10. Willow, welcome. Hello, hello. What was I going to do? I can't tell. I'm going to make a video about Tiger's Eye. And that guy. I need, I need a piece of Tiger's Eye. I do have like a Tiger's Eye tumble. I just don't know if I want to use that one or not. I should have grabbed a piece while I was uh, out at the crystal shop today and I didn't even think about it. Oh, he's got little lines in his nose too. It's nothing bad. Well, I mean, maybe. <laughs> if you get around to making the video, you'll see. The flame is rocking away. I know they have a little wobble too, these two. little wobbles tiger eye bacon kind of all right so those pigs are 10 i also have the rabbits if anybody's interested in the rabbits these all start at 10 so there's a rose quartz and a crystal quartz rabbit if anybody's interested in those all right okay i'm gonna talk about these slabs back here because i think they're and these, I think I'm only doing for like 350, I think. Hold on, let me check. Boop -a -doo. Maybe I'll do them at three just because I can. Did I not write it down? Three to four, $3, three, let's do $3 on these guys. Okay, these are the hematite, specular hematite. What are you OMGing? I would like a slab. All right, these are all buy it now. So yeah, put it in the chat if you want one. Type in slab or the number three. Beth, I have you in for the first one. And these are just kind of going to be randomly chosen. They're all more or less the same size, just like slightly different chips. So we'll go in order. So that one's for Beth. $3. Thank you. I have four left. $3 slab. They're all three. Specular slab. I think what it is about these. Oh, there we go. One, two, three, four. Aaron, Elizabeth, Patty, and oh no. I'm sorry, April. Willow is in there first. Willow, do I have your information? Have we had this conversation? I feel like we have. Hold on. Oh, I do have it. I do have it. Okay. Ignore me. All right, there we go. One, two, three, four. 
I'm just going to show you really quick um, what it is about this because they're not, my theory is, I haven't done a lot of research on it because I just thought it was so cool. I thought, but I think that when you polish it, you remove the crystal that causes it to be sparkly. So these are actually covered in lacquer. They're not polished, if that makes sense, to bring out the sparkle. But these are natural stones. I hope that makes sense to everybody. See, there's a little splattered on the back. But the high, like, luster, it's, like, coated. Okay, so we are going down in order. Beth was first. Okay, Aaron's second. Specular slab. Aaron's bag. Aaron. Okay, and then next was Patty. You got it. Okay, and then we've got Sally. Specular slam. And then Willow, you got it, thank you. All right. All right, smooth this edge on the one you have if you can. Oh, nice. This one is pretty smooth. Let me see. Oh, you got over that really fast, <laughs> Sally. <laughs> this one's got a pretty, like, it's smooth on this edge. So hopefully that will work for you. Uh, Beth wanted one, though. If you don't want yours... If you don't want your Sally, I think Beth will take it. Just let me know. Michelle, welcome. It's sort of her kryptonite. Well, but it's not blue goldstone though. It just it looks like it, but it's not. It's similar, but different. Alrighty, let's uh, throw a tumble bag together and just see what you all think. Let's see what you all think about this. Okay. Oh, I also have these guys. We forgot about those. Or maybe I didn't. No, I think I showed those. Okay, cool. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's move these guys aside for a moment. Let's start us a little pile. Mm, yeah, we'll throw him in there. Let's throw a couple garnets. And also this in there. All right. If you guys haven't done tumble bags before, they grow. They sure do. We'll start it at seven for this little pile here. Can you see this? Let's see. Ooh, that's kind of like a wonky angle, isn't it? We'll do a little seven, starting bid seven. They're not they're not really tumbles though. Oh, I forgot to add I forgot to add the dirt. All right, if you want it, let me know. I forgot to throw one of these guys in there. That's a black tourmaline. A point, a crystal point. And then this ocean jack. Ooh, sorry. Bloop. I don't know why I said bloop right there. It's a jasper, like an ocean jasper disc in there. And there's two pyrite tumbles. These things are awesome. And these are garnets. So these naturally grow in this, like, they call it a hexagon garnet but they're like faceted i feel like these in a tumbler would be awesome i don't know for sure but that's what i'm thinking all right hey marianne welcome in marianne's in at seven has it in first and like i said these will grow so if we get that out but this this material ain't cheap let me tell you pyrite ain't cheap 
That ain't cheap. That stuff is super expensive. I have a couple spears on the way, you guys. If anyone's into pyrite and likes spears, I have some coming. Oh, unless you guys, okay, if you, okay, now, here we go. All right, Aaron's in at 10. Okay, Beth, if you're listening, uh, Elizabeth is relinquishing the tile for you, or the slab. So I'm going to take it out of her bag and put it in yours. Wait, did I say Beth? I already got one for her. Who was it who didn't get one? Hold on. It was April. It was April. I'm sorry, Beth. It's not Beth. It's April. Beth already got one. April, you, do you want this one? Let me know. Okay. Okay, and while I wait for that answer, let me throw something else in here. Let me throw, it has got kind of a chip in him. This one's a really light, smoky heart. Ooh, here's a fun stone, a rose quartz tumble. He's gonna go in the pile too. That one actually has a little bit of flash to him. Okay, April's at 15, what else can I throw in here? Let's do let's do one of these let's do one of these pocket stones, huh? We'll throw in the Dalmatian Jasper. We'll go in there too. Okay, bye Lucid. See you later. Thanks for popping in. Okay, and April does want it. Awesome, you got it. Okay, she's fully all right what are we at 15 oh okay oh will uh, we lost ours last april we're starting to think about getting another dog now let me see if this makes anything any better yeah, sure, not really all right, so there we go. We're at 15. Start calling it. Going once. Going twice to April. Final warning. And we sold. Sold to April. I hope you like quartz points. I just threw a few more in there. All right, now here. I don't know if these will fit in the bag. Let's give it a try. Thank you. Do you who has dogs? Do you all like, like how many dogs do you guys have? And what dogs do you have? We had a Boston Terrier who died about three years ago. And then we had a Boston Terrier French Bulldog mix. And he died. That was the one that died last year. And now we're thinking about getting another one that's like um, similar, like another mix. We're thinking another French Bulldog Boston Terry mix because he was awesome. He had a really good personality and he was just a cool dog. Dang, I can't hardly fit it in there. Hold on. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Ooh, a Yorkie. Oh yeah, I do have those. We can we can definitely do those. So these, we'll do those next. Look at that, that's a nice mix. I kind of like the way that bag looks. I like, I like that mix a lot. Squeesh. I'm back, what did I miss? Uh, I just did a mixed bag of stones. We can do another one of those if you guys want. Um, let's talk about these guys, though. These are... Oh, I can't remember. I think they're... Th I don't want to say 350 if it's not. Oh, it's not. 250. 250 each. Oh, crystals. 
250. Okay. Um, how many do I have? I think I got like 15 of them. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I have 15 total. So if you guys want one of these, tell me how many you want. You can say claim or sold and then tell me how many you want. They're just buy it now. So just let me know how you how many. It's just whatever order we go in. These are all the ones I have. But they do, I have a couple of these. And man, they pack a punch. They look so small. But once the sun shines through them, holy crap, they're really... I don't have my phone down here. I was going to try to see if I could like flash it through, but I don't have a concentrated light down here. I do keep slamming that table, don't I? Alrighty. Patty is in first, but um, Patty, how many did you want? You didn't really give me a number here, but I do see your price up there first. So let me know how many you want. Oh, Patty wants three. Okay. Three for Patty. Patty. All right, next is Marianne for two. Thank you, Marianne. Okay, hold on, I gotta find your bag. Sorry, my giant booty is knocking everything over per the norm. All right, Marianne. Okay, Christina wants two. You got it. Got it. Okay, and then Aaron wants two. All right, you got it. Okay. Alrighty, I think that's everybody. We've got four left. If there's any interest, we got four left. I might like hang them for my deer skull. That might be kind of cool. Oh, that might be fun. No one claims those. <gasps> Jonathan! Hello! Welcome. Welcome to the party. Okay, hold on. Now my camera's all... Look, it looks like this whole table is tilted and everything's going to come tumbling on down. Oh, you guys wanted two as well? Okay, hold on. Nope, I didn't because I wasn't in the right chat. Sorry. Okay, two for Beth. I think I got you, Elizabeth. Nope, sure didn't. All right. Two for Sally, two for Beth. And that wipes them out. Thank you all. Awesome. Uh, Sally, Sally, wish you were back there. Okay, Beth Collins has the last two. All right, there we go. Thank you guys. Yeah, if any guys like if I miss you, please put in the chat like a bunch of dots or some 
a ton of emojis, something to like flag my eye to make sure I see you because I do miss stuff more often than I care to admit. Um, okay, cool. I think that's everything. Did I sell the amethyst piggy? No, he's still back here. He's here for 10 if you want him. You can just say pig 10 or something so I know and I'll just sell him to you. Broski. About time, Broski. Alrighty. Should we do some stones? Or do you guys want to talk about these flames that are super duper awesome? You got him, Patty. Patty's got the pig. All right. <laughs> X day on the Amish. And that's something I can speak. That's about it. Marianne request. What did Marianne request? Oh, another mixed bag. Thank you. Thank you, Willow. Yes. See? Yes. Thank you. Got it. Get it, got it, good. Oh, that's weird on StreamYard. It just looks like you put the number 11 instead of the arrows. Okay, let's do a mixed bag. Mixed bag. Mom's up cycle and design. Hello. Welcome in. It is jewelry. Ooh. Jewelry ETC channel at gmail.com. And forgive me, I think there's about a 14 second delay, give or take. So bear with me on that. I appreciate it. And thanks so much. Thanks for all the new people popping in. I really appreciate it. Truly, I do. That's super duper awesome. If you guys share the channel out, I really, really appreciate it. I like am blown away that I'm almost at 500 when it, like a month ago I was doing 400. Now I'm almost at 500. That's incredible to get that many subs in one month. So thank you everybody. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to do something different for the giveaway this time instead of, instead of me picking stuff out and having five pieces or whatever. Uh, I'm thinking about doing something a little different. And I think you guys are going to like it more than me selecting things for you. So, yeah, let's get to 500, do another giveaway. That sounds fun, right? I think so. Okay, here we go. $7 mixed bag. Aw, thanks, Willow. I'm super pumped about it. I have so much fun doing this. So, like, I'm, I'm jazzed and people also think I'm you know, worth watching, I guess. All right, so we're going to start with this Ocean Jasper dude. This one has some really pretty colors in it. All right, he's going to be the little dude. That reminds me, do you guys want to do another jukebox night with Aaliyah? Let me know. Uh, this guy's got a little ding in him, but he's got a couple things. We'll throw him in anyway. Do some pyrite in here. Put that down or do another pirate. I love this. I love pirate. Pirate's one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Do that. Let's get a tourmaline in there. Ooh, he's kind of a big chunk. I like tourmaline. Such a cool crystal. All right, tourmaline. What else we got? Let's mix this guy up a little bit. Throw some some agate tumbles up in this piece. All right, does this help or hinder? Uh, maybe, maybe it helps. It's hard to say. All right, here's a little, ooh. This is some of that Botswana agate. Did you see the sparkle in that? Ooh, hello. He's going in there. Let me get another one of those guys. He's fun. Ooh, that guy's small. He's too small. He needs a friend. It does look like a blinged out asteroid. Yes, it does. I love it. Here's another little agate. So this guy's got some pitting in him. You can do better. Come on, agates. You can do better than that. Let me get some of the Botswana stuff. That's so cool. That's the orca agate. 
Ooh, I like that guy. Ooh, he's pretty. He's actually something to look at. Here's another dark one. I'm not impressed. I'm going to send him to the side for a minute. Let's get some points in there. Bam. First grab, first come. Ooh, look, he's got a crystal coming out the side. I have like a giant version of this. He's got some inclusions. He might be a little dirty with some hematite. Ooh, this is neat. This isn't broken. That's a crystal that was growing up beside him. And then they they split up. They weren't friends anymore. He was like, I'm out of here. Like, you can see right where the point is. That's so cool. I love stuff like that. All right, he's going in there, too. Where are the garnets at? We need garnets, right? Where are my garnets at? Oh, I have some on the table still. My bad. Okay, well, here's some of the hexagon garnets. Those are going in there. Some of them look really red and some of them look really black, but they are indeed natural garnets. And that's how their crystal formation is. Here's another. Ooh, see? This one's kind of all, got a little red on it. And some sparklies. You can't really tell on the camera at all, but it's red. All right, here's a little pile. Where are we at? 16? Okay, what else can we throw in here? Uh, let's throw in this random pocket stone that I don't know what it is. It's an agate of some sort. That much is for certain. But he's got, like, it almost looks like it's layered, like, with resin or something. It's not. It's all natural, but it looks cool. It looks like a fossil stone or something. All right, we'll throw him in there, too. Aaron's at 20. Gosh, I can do better than this. What else we got? Uh, we got another heart. We got another heart heart over here. I've got another rose rose quartz tumble. Ooh, what 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 epic buy what? What did I miss? Tapped out this week already. What'd you get? and see what is actually going on. Da, da, da. <laughs> I just like on it. That sounded weird. Congrats on the group. <laughs> this kind of growth I will embrace. All right. <laughs> yeah, you gotta yell at your stones so they perform better. What'd you get, Jonathan? Don't keep it a secret. All right, Aaron's got top bid at 20. Is that even a thing? Does that sentence even make sense? I don't think I can fit this in one bag. Black tourmaline. We got agates for days. Ocean jasper. This mystery agate, some points, some quartz hearts, a rose quartz tumble in there. Let's start calling it. Going once. Going twice. What'd you get? If I tell you, my broski will have to kill me. Well, now I need to know. You cheating on me? You getting crystals somewhere else? I know. I'm throwing in two more of these. Good for crystal grids if you do that sort of thing. Final warning. Oh, Janine. Hello. Welcome. Janine popped in at 22. 22 we're gonna keep this pile going not a crystal per se what did you get did you get the peen did you buy the peen did you get a crystal peen and that's why you don't want to say it marianne is jumping in at 25 all right 25 we're gonna throw in a red jasper pocket stone a very gorgeous one they're all gorgeous but we're gonna add him to the pile too Throw him on top. 
Oh, Crystal, are you doing a giveaway? What are you up to? All right. Marianne's got high bit at 25 for the stone stack. We got some pyrite in there. We got some garnets. We have some quartz. And now we have some jasper. We have a tourmaline. We have a crystal stack. Do, 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 do. Jonathan, you got to tell me. No, I really want to know. <laughs> Send it to my phone, which I don't have on me, so I won't be able to react to that news until later, but I'm dying to know. Oh, nice. That's right around the corner. All right, Janine's the 26. What can we add? What can we add? Oh, this guy. I've been saving this guy. I thought he was special and awesome. It's like a mini agate egg. It's got these inclusions in it, which looks a little bit like the dendritic agate. And these bandings around here. He is super fun. And I'm going to put him on. I've been saving him, but he's going in now. He's going in. I'll throw this in too. It's really, really pale. But this is a tumbled praseolite, which is a uh, green amethyst. Or not green amethyst, green quartz. People call it green and an little bit of This is purple. There's actually a rainbow in here, too. I don't know if you can see it or not. But now he's. Let me see. Oh, no, I totally have it. JK. Yeah, I think so. If your email starts with an L, I have it. Okay, cool. How many are in here, though? Uh, good question. Aw, thanks, Jonathan. How many are in here? Good grief. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22? Did I count that one? 22 or 23? It's, uh, it's, it's, quite, a, it's quite a stack. <laughs> Praiseolite is a stone of transformative energies. That is... I love that stone. Oh, everybody needs their negative energy transmuted, don't they? Transmutes it negative energy to positive without releasing it to the atmosphere. Out releasing into the atmosphere. That's good to know. So it's like an absorbing stone too. Kind of like kind of like crystal quartz, because crystal quartz is said to like suck up all the bad juju. Actually, some people, and I'm actually getting, if anyone is interested. I'm getting a bunch of like small tumbled quartz because they say if you like take your stones and put it in quartz instead of doing the like sage smudges and stuff like that, it cleanses it just as nicely. Get it to 24 even. Good golly. Let's see how many I have for, for Shirzy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I say 22 or 23? 1, 2, 3. God, I can't count. 6, 9, 10, 13, 15. Okay, it is 22. And you want it to 24. Ooh. What to add? What to add? Let's see. Got my expensive materials in there. Let's do... Uh, let me see if I have any smoky hearts left. That's a fun one. So he's got a little crack though. He's a little unimpressive. All right, we'll throw him and his friend in there. And that's the smoky one, but he's got a chunk out of the top. There's a lighter smoky one. He's in there. I know you said 24, but we're going to go 25. Getting it for three kids in the same family. 
If you win it, April's in at 27. All right, let me get one that's like not busted. Here, this one's not busted. We'll trade him out. Yeah, okay. All right, I think that's 24. But see, now we're at, if we keep going higher, I'm going to add more to the pile. That's a problem. That is a problem. What do I have in my bag? Let me see. Where's my bag of big stuff? Ah! Ha ha ha! Ooh, I can't sell that one. That one's going to be... That's got to go individually. We've got this Rose Quartz Pocket Stone. Or maybe it's Crystal Quartz. That's Crystal Quartz. It's got like a slight pink hue to it. That's Crystal. What else do I have in this Bag of Wonders? Mm. Hmm. Maybe we'll do this one. This is Bloodstone, I do believe, but it doesn't have any red on it. But I'm pretty sure that's Bloodstone. It's like a really deep green. I have some on the table. See, this is also Bloodstone, but that one's got the red in it. But it's a uh, Jasper, basically. But a really deep, like a forest green kind of color. I mean, that's a pretty big old stacko right there. I'm going to have to put that in two bags, I think. All right, April's in at 33. These pocket stones are friggin' awesome. We can do those individually if you guys are interested in the pocket stones. Like, not in a giant lot. I've also got the rainbow moonstone. No one really talked about that, but that's here. All right, April's got 33 high bid. We're gonna start counting it down. Going once. Whoops. Going twice. What do we have over here? Here, I'm going to throw in some of these these hearts. I'm going to throw this one in, too. I mean, they will chunk stink it out of them, though, but they're free, so why not, right? All right, final warning. Uh, whoops, final. No, FW. No, not F2. I can't type. It's FW. <laughs> My turtle needs some sand. He'll be very happy in that atmosphere, I think. And we are sold. Yeah, let's do some pocket stones. We can definitely do that. That is enough. Let me get these off, though. All right, hold on. This is, what, 33 for April. Thank you, April. Congratulations. That is a very, very beautiful lot and will make your turtle very happy, I think. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Can we fit them? Can we fit them? Place your bets. <laughs> definitely not going to fit in one bag. Do you have just some of those raw crystal points for sale? Yeah. Sure, we can do that. All right, hold on. But first, first we take care of business over here. We do. I'm trying to get the smooth stuff together. That egg, I'm kind of sad to see that egg go. Bye egg. That egg is cool. Let me get the, some of the, the smoothies together. All right, I think that's about all I'm going to be able to get in that one. All right, there's bag one. I shouldn't have put this bag so far away from me. Oh, hey, look, here's a bag that's sitting on my table. Let me reuse this thing. I don't know what was in here, but I think that'll fit everything else. Maybe. Let us see. Let us see, let us see, will it fill all the crystal walls, let us see. To Christina, yeah, everybody go sub. Go sub to Christina. Not only is she gorgeous, but she has a fantastic voice and good content, and she gets really nice jewelry and has really good prices on her stuff when she sells it. It's not a bad channel to be sub to if you like jewelry, that's for sure. And she gets really nice, like, natural stone stuff, too. All right, we did it. We did it. We got us our two giant bags of crystals. Thank you, April. All right, I was find the bag. 
I got to tell you, I really super duper like the idea of mixing those all together. I have calcites. Um, mixing them all together into a bowl and then putting a turtle on top. That looks, that sounds good to me. Okay, we're going to do some individual pocket stones just super quick. I'm just going to do a really quick table scan for people that just came in. So let me do that really fast. We're going to do some pocket stones. If these sell, I have more. But they're all mixed, so I can't tell you what they are. But we're going to do these next, which are the pocket stones. They're either going to be 3 or $4. I still have the pyrite over here. We can do individual if you guys want. This is also pyrite. We've got the flames, the amethyst, the derp dogs. Elizabeth's favorite. We've got the lion head or foo dog or wolf, whatever you want to call him. He's over here. The Native American head with the amethyst on it is over there. We've got moonstone, 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 and moonstone, if anybody's interested in that. This guy is carnelian. He is buy it now at, what is he guys? Hold on, is he 22 or 25? I can't remember. Uh, 22, he's a 22 buy it now. If someone wants him, we've done those guys. I've got him, can you see? He's a candle holder. I already put a candle in him. He's for sale. I have this big old piece of petrified wood back here. I mean, it's it's sizable. He's big. The calcite, the sheen obsidian. I don't think I talked about him before. Sheen obsidian pieces. Bookends. I think that's about it. Rabbits. Some rando carvings. If she just had some moonstone, God, way to slack on getting moonstone, Laura. Good galley. Opalite. Okay, let's do some pocket stones and then we'll do the opalite dogs. That's what you were talking about earlier. I'm so dumb. I'm sorry, Patty. Dude, he's got a gangster lean like what? Look at this guy. Can you see him? Why has he got such a gangster lean? Look, he's leaning in like he's going to tell a secret to this guy. Hey, did you hear? Sally might take all of us home. What? Even me? No one wants to adopt me because I have such a weird face. Okay, so I had these dog, this dog at my, I worked at a dog daycare uh, years and years ago. And um, I used to do dog training and like daycare stuff. Anywho, we had one dog, if you guys can imagine. He was, if you know your dog breeds, he was a great dane mixed with a greyhound okay so imagine these two dogs all right a greyhound is like super lanky slender big like slick face like built for speed and then the great dane is like a big boned guy with short hair they're like muscular they have big heads big floppy this dog and i cannot remember his name and that makes me sad because i remember like a lot of the dogs this guy he had like the body of a Great Dane and the head of the Greyhound. So he had this tiny head on this giant body and he was the funniest looking thing. And that is what that dog reminds me of. Okay. Oh, the pumpkins. Yeah, I know. Okay, Willow, we'll get there next. I want a Chonker Moonstone. It's going to cost you, girl. Laura bought these stone pumpkins and she couldn't get rid of them to save her life. Facts. I even still have one. <laughs> like mine? You don't like yours, Patty? It's okay, Elizabeth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, let's all just agree to not talk about pumpkins ever again. Okay? Okay. Alrighty, so palm stones, let's do it. Or pocket stones, we'll call them pocket stones. Alright, so they're going to be either three or four, except for this guy. I've just decided he's going to be two. Alright, so here's how it's going to go down, okay? I'm just going to pick one up, and the first person to put, I guess, the number. No, I'm going to give you a word. Let's make this fair. You're going to have a magic word you're going to have to say, or type, okay? Because I feel like that's the only way to make this fair. Because otherwise you can just, like, jump the gun on your numbers, so that's not fair. You still have pumpkins? I'm a pumpkin freak. Are you serious, Willow? That's hysterical. 
All right, hold on. Let me, I got to write this down. I'm not going to remember. Who do I think I am? Okay, so we're going to do dogs. Patty wants to see the dogs. Um, yeah, Sally did her part on the pumpkin, getting rid of pumpkins. I kind of missed the, I mean, I could throw one back on the table. I will. I'm going to go get it so I can show Willow. Oh, and the points, the points, crystal points. Okay, Marion wants to see the crystal points. We'll do those. I can do like a bag of those if you want for a little, like, you know, a bag for some bucks. Uh, what else? Oh, Moonstone. We'll do those. I was so pumped about those stupid pumpkins, too. I thought they were going to be a hot seller. I thought people would want them for Thanksgiving. Nope. Okay, Obsidian. Pet wood. Blue dragon head. You guys got some ideas. <laughs> I see a lion. Jonathan sees a foo dog. Willow sees a dragon head. And then someone else saw a wolf. I can't remember now who. Someday I'll be able to afford the big stones. I feel like that right now. Oh, sugar. That reminds me. Damn it. Dang it. Crap. I was supposed to buy something from eBay and I totally didn't. Fudge sickles. Crap. Hold on, guys. Emergency. Emergency. <laughs> Shoot. I don't think I could buy it anymore. Hold on. Oh, how frustrating. I had like a second chance offer on a bid. Oh, I can't still buy it. Okay, hold on. I gotta buy this really quick, guys. Can I? Oh, I totally can. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Speaking about spending big money on big crystals, that's what's done in this very moment. It said my offer expires at some point in time, so I was afraid that it happened, but we're good. Okay, anyway, <laughs> back to the show. Um... Yeah, totally. I, Jonathan, you give it time. It'll happen. <laughs> Got hers yesterday? How did she only get it yesterday, Elizabeth? You just bought, you bought that like two months ago. Maury, hello. Welcome in. My little list above. Did I get, every, get everything on it? The city and the petrified wood. The thing you think is a lion head. Oh, Aaron wants to see the Indian head. Chief! Show us the chief! Okay, pumpkin. I gotta put the pumpkin on here. For reasons. Pumpkins are delicious all year round. What's with the seasonal pumpkin spice nonsense? All right, cool. We have a good list. But first, pocket stones. Okay, so here, here, guys, here it is. I will tell you the price, but you have to put the word in to claim it. The magic word. All right? Does everybody understand the rules? Here we go. We'll start with the small guy first. This is bloodstone. You know what? I might do these up here. This one's going to be $2. $2 bloodstone. Your word is blood. And go. $2. The word to claim it is blood. Bloodstone. Super pretty color on this one. Wouldn't you love to see it? All right, hold on. My chat's like not even up on the screen. <laughs> All right, Crystal's in first with blood. No, I lied. No, I didn't lie. Yes, Crystal's in first with blood. Thank you, Crystal. All right. Okay, I gotta get, get what? I gotta get Crystal's bag up. And there's my friend. Okay. All 
All right, I'm, I'm gonna try to go fast, but I'm really dropping the ball already. Okay, here we go. Here's the next one, you guys. You ready? Next down, this guy. Red Jasper, $3. Red is your word. Red is your claim word. First person to get red. $3 for red. Maury is in for red. Thank you, Maury. Red Jasper. You got that one. I'm gonna need more bags down here. All right, I have another, actually I've got two more of those on here. Let's do this one. This one's gonna be three. Your word is cherry. Cherry, let me try to move it over here in the light maybe. Cherry for three, cherry for three. This is another red Jasper, by the by. There we go. All right, Maury's in for cherry. You got it. All right, next up. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Patty's in first on that one, I'm sorry. Sorry, Maury. I didn't see Patty's. Cherry for Patty, my bad. I've got one more of those. We'll do that next, so brace yourself. Okay. Almost just lost everything. All right, here's the last one. Focus, Laura, I know, right? I'm trying to do this quickly. You see the word in the chat, but you're not lagging? I don't believe that. All right, here we go. Here's the last one. Your word is pie. Pie. I will accept P-I or P-I-E. Pie. Oh, this one is also three. Probably it should have been four, but that's okay. We'll do three dollars on this one also. Listen, you can't read. You can't read sarcasm in chats, okay, Elizabeth? So stop it. <laughs> All right, Sally is in there first. Thank you. Woo! Okay. All right, here we go. Here's the next one. This guy, which I think is by this Jasper, but I'm not 100%. If you know, feel free to share and drop your knowledge. This one's going to be four. And it's awesome for the record. This is like a pink over here and there's kind of a gray and then a cream, creamy gray pink. Really awesome. All right, your word to win this one. This is $4 on this guy. Your word is pink, pink. Pink is your claim word, gotta write pink. All right, the first one, let me get back in the live chat so I can see what y'all are seeing. Christina is in with the word pink. Thank you. I this palm. Okay, next. Next up, ooh, let's do this one. $4. For the snowflake obsidian i don't th let me see if i have any more of these because i know a few people have been asking me for this material i tried to get spears did i tell you guys this i tried to get i think i told oh there's one more there's one more if you can even consider that snowflake that you can barely even tell on that one this is the best example of it we'll say 
All right, Snowflake Obsidian. This one's four. Oh, so I ordered Snowflake Obsidian Spheres, and then the warehouse called me before they shipped my order and told me it was sold out, even though I'd already placed the order and everything. But, you know, it is what it is. Anywho. All right, here we go. $4. Your claim word is... Snow. Snow for the pocket stone. Ooh. He's a slippery one. All right, Sally's in for snow. You got it. Thank you. Okay. All right. What do we got next? What do we got next? Here's the other one. I don't. I'll do three dollars on this. It's like snowflake obsidian, but barely. There's not a whole lot of snowflakes on it. You know what I'm saying? You know, what? I'll do this for two. We'll do this for two dollars. Two dollars for this sad example of snowflake obsidian. Your word is flake. Flake. Flaky flake, if anybody wants this, you can have yourself a flaky rock. All right, Maury is in first on that one. You got it. Thank you. Now I got Sam on two pages now. All right. Woo. Okay. All right, next. Let's do let's do this guy. Four dollars for the Dalmatian Jasper. This one is really cool. I've never actually quite seen one like this. Oh no. What is stream oh streamlad prime? What is that? I don't know what streamlad prime is. All right. Ha, nice try, April. <laughs> unless you're unless that wasn't your claim word. All right, so here we go. Here's the Dalmatian Jasper. This is so cool. I haven't seen a line running through it. I like that. Four dollars on this one. Your claim word is dog. Get it? Because a Dalmatian is a dog. Dog. Jonathan's in at dog. For four, thank you. Dog. Dalmatian Jasper. Okay. Let's <clears throat> start your bag, Jonathan. Choo. Dirt. That's what I should have used. Alrighty, next up. Let's do this hematite. This one's fun. We'll do three on this. Three dollars on the hematite. He's got a little scratch through there. Or it's not a scratch. It's like a crack, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, but it's in the stone. Hematite. Three dollars. Claim word. Silver. Even though he's really not silver, but he is reflective, much like silver. Three dollars for silver. All right, April's in. In for silver. Ooh. All righty, next. Let me see if I have other... Do I have any more hematite? I don't know what I do. I have, like, you guys don't understand what. Just observe for a second. <laughs> That's all of them, though. And I don't have a trash bag. I'm going to just throw that to the side. We got a bunch. We got a bunch. Let me start doing... Ooh, we have more bloodstone. I got more bloodstone. Ooh, there's a howlite. 
Alright, we're gonna start doing some pairings. How about that? Because this bloodstone, we've got a few of them. We're gonna do a pair, alright? We'll do for... It's like a black agate. That's cool. I'm inspecting it with you guys. Sorry. Here, let me get it in the light, maybe. Ooh, my handprint's on it. Okay, this black agate looking stone. Some bloodstone. <sighs> what else do we have over here? I guess we'll just do these two. These two, five dollars. Five dollar. Your word is stone. Stone. Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollar stone set. Five! Five dollar! I'm gonna throw this guy too. I just grabbed him. He's a tiny coin. I can do better than that. Five dollar stone set! Alright, you got it, Patty. I'm gonna throw a couple points in there, although. Look, ooh, that's like two smushed up together. These are kind of. Uh... Oh, look at that guy! <sighs> He's cool. Alright. Patty, five dollars. You got it. Okay. I'm just gonna put stone set for you. Stone set for you. Hold on. I'm having difficulty accessing a bag. Congratulations. Ah, Donata. Get a few words in there. Okay. Let's do another one of those. That was fun. Let's do some All right, let's do another. We'll do some bloodstone mixed with these things because I got a few of these bloodstones. Ooh, that's not bloodstone. That's moss agate. <gasps> Look at that. Ooh, we're going to do him by himself. This is going to be $4. $4 moss agate. Claim word. Your claim word is nature. Nature for the mouse agate pocket stone. Oh, I like this one a lot. Ooh, this is one that if I saw it earlier, I probably would have hoarded it for myself. Oh, come on. Come on, light. I hope you can see it okay. It's pretty though. Backlight it. Ooh. That's terrible. It looks like it's being abducted. I'm sorry. That was an awful thing. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's see who's in first. Whoo! Everybody wants that one. All right. April's in there first. You got it. You got it. You got it. I got totally distracted by the stone's beauty. Alrighty, let's do another couple of them. See, I'm wondering if uh, YouTube is like not putting people's stuff up here. Oh, Michelle. Michelle is saying hi to Lucid. So Lucid, if you don't see Michelle, she said hi three times. I thought you were talking about me. It's like, oh God, did I miss somebody? All right, here we go. Let's do another couple one. Here's, this is another one of those bloodstones that doesn't have any of the red on it. So we'll just call it a Jasper. That's like the really deep green. And then we'll throw it together with this guy. This is another one of those weird agates. That looks like it has a million layers in it. These two, let's do, we'll do five on these. Let's do five on this. We'll throw a couple points in here, too. Yeah, that one's kind of broken. Womp womp. Unless you want. I'll just add him. Why not? We'll throw another one in here. This one's going to be five. Ooh, look at this fatty. Ooh, I like you. He's skinny, but wise. 
I like that one. Five dollars for this pile. Your claim word is stick. I don't know why it just came to my mind. Stick. Stick. I don't know why it is stick, but it is stick. Carly, you're back. Hi. All right. This is so weird. In StreamYard, everybody's word comes up simultaneously. So I have to go to the live chat to see who actually got in first. Patty is in with stick. Oh, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Oh, it fell. Okay. With the stick. Do, 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 do. Oh, I forgot to ask. No, I did ask. I forgot to see if anyone answered. Did you guys want Aaliyah to come back for another jukebox night? Jukebox night. Say that five times fast. Oh, yeah, I know Patty, right? I thought that too. It's like, this is a Patty point. He's a chonker. This one has like the lines in it too, the barcoding where the other crystals are growing next to it. Pretty cool. All right, do you guys want me to keep doing pocket stones or should we move on to something else for a little bit? Let me know. Thank you. Should we do another jukebox night? Do, 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 chonker. Do, 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 chonker would be Barbara, hello. I have your information. So no, because you won the giveaway. So I have it already. More pocket stones. April says, let's do this. How late? It's the only one I have. I can't sing very deep. I can't sing at all, really. But, you know, I can't really sing deep at all. How late? Pocket stone. Four bucks. Now nah, let's do three bucks. Let's do three bucks. On him. Ow, my elbow. Three bucks on this guy. Claim word. Snow. I guess we already did that earlier, but whatever. Snow. $3. $3. I had some Howlite in the tower form, and it was gorgeous, and I didn't keep one, and I totally regret it. All right. Mom's upcycle and design is in first. Do you? I don't think I have your information, though. Can you send it over to me? Or did you already? Did that happen? Did this conversation already happen? Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Thank you. Everybody, thank her. That's our first purchase with me. Thanks so much. Tell me what your name is. I've seen your channel, but I don't remember your name, and I do apologize. Okay. I'm running out of bags, y'all. It's not a bad problem. It's just an annoying one. Okay, let's cross this out. Mom's up cycle. All right, let's keep pocket stoning it up. I mean, should I lot them? What do you guys want to do? Do you want me to lot them up or you want to do them one by one? Do share. <laughs> Carly. Well, you got to be near yourself, unfortunately. Beck, got it. I'm going to put that in my notes. Thank you, Beck. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. See, if you on your own screen, you always pop up as the top one. So if you see your name first... Yes, please. If you see your name first, that's uh, that's pretty typical, but not accurate. I got to go with what's on my screen. One off. Sorry, everybody's done with pocket stands. We'll come back to this later if there's more interest. Or if there's like, ooh, look at that guy. If there's more interest um, or if there's something specific you want. But we can save those. I mean, I'm, I'll be here. I'll be here Monday and next week. Do I ever get gem marbles? I sure do every now and again. Yep or do. Alrighty. 
Okay, I hear the request for spheres. However, I've got a list going here. And next on the list is the dogs. And then crystal points, and then we'll do the spheres, the moonstone spheres. All right, so the dogs, here's the thing. They're going to be five bucks. <laughs> five bucks starting bid for choice, I guess. I'm starting them low because I can. Because I'm not too impressed with the quality. The stone is still pretty. Don't get me wrong. I just think their faces are weird. Not He's not so bad. He's not He's not bad at all. I like him. He just has a weird kind of, he kind of leans to the side a smidge. He's my favorite one. But this guy, like, he, his head is so tiny. I don't know. I think it looks off, but everybody sees things differently, right? All right, dogs. Starting bid, $5. <laughs> Sally's in for 5 I've got, I've got, so you're going to have to explain the rule to Maury about Sally, okay? I can't say it. I know, right? I'm the worst salesperson in the world. I'm just honest. What can I say? Hey, Viv. Oh, yes. Carly and you and the other two, I think. <laughs> Patty says, I will adopt the weirdo. All right. Well, you know, there's three of you. We could just do this as a buy it now, five dollars, and call it call it a day. I think you did, Carly, because I had that one early. All right. Let's. I'm just gonna call it sold. It's just gonna be sold. We'll do one each. One for Sally. One for Maury, and one for Patty. Right? Does that sound good to everybody? Don't forget the pumpkins. God, if only I could. Okay, so Patty wants this guy. This cutie. He's like the one that gets adopted first because people feel bad for him. <laughs> oh, sorry, Patty. He's really not that bad. He truly isn't. I just thought his... I don't know. I guess he's not as bad as I think. I don't know. This is the other one. He's more... He's the clearest. And then this guy. He's like somewhere in between. These ones are very opaque. They shine red. When you shine light through them, it's like red behind them. It's pretty cool. Kind of like opal, actually. I will baby him all. Alrighty. So Patty wants this guy. And then who is in Elizabeth? I'm sorry. Sally was in first. Fat guy on the left. This dude... Is this the one you want? Let me know, Sally. And then that leaves this one with Maury. This one was my favorite. This was my picks right here, this guy. He's my fave. Okay, so if that's correct, let me know. Five. $5. $5 dollars. Oh, okay. You got him, Sally. Thank you. Woo! Dog. Okay, and then this one is from Maury. Yes. My favorite. My favorite puppy. Why am I so singy tonight? I don't know what is wrong with me. I just want to sing everything. It's like I'm living in a musical. Everybody will get mad at me. Let me say five. Talk. Turn off the channel, give me that thumbs down, cause my voice is crap, but I try anyway. Cause it's fun. Okay, Maury, bag. But I don't care. My family will stay and we'll build our house under the bridge with stones and crystal. <laughs> Whew. Alrighty, that was the dogs. What's next? Crystal points, crystal points. Let's do, how many do I have left of these things? I'm gonna do like a bag and we'll just sell them off in the bag. How does that sound? 
Crystal Point bag. Yeah, Jonathan, where are you at? That happened. Um, I know there's like a million auctions going on. I can see it right here on my screen. It's telling me that Pirate Auctions is live. I'm like, I know it is. I know. I don't know. Would it be like distasteful if I auction hop on my own auction? <laughs> We'll be the rock folk of the bridge. The rock folk of the bridge. Ooh, look at this one. Dude, it needs to be cleaned a little bit. But it has three. Ooh, I don't know if I can get rid of this one. Because it looks like three, like, babies on the mama stone. I'm keeping that. Sorry. All right, what else can I add to here? Let's do I'm doing, like, a, a bag here. I'm doing a bag. Pumpkins are coming, y'all. I have it on my list. It's down there on the list, but it's on the list. Okay. I mean, that's a fair amount of points, right? Here, I'll do one more. It is. I love things in threes. Threes and fives. Okay, right, here's the here's the little bag. Who's asking me? Who's asking me about points? I can't remember. This will be a five dollar point bag. Five. Five dollar. Who asked for this? Five dollar point bag. I wrote down points, but I don't remember who asked me. So uh, five dollars to claim. I can make another one though. If somebody wants it. Okay, do you want uh, Marianne wants this for five? You got it. You got it, girl. Thank you. Woo! Patty wants one for five. I can make you a point back. Hold on. I'll make you one too, Patty. Let me get Marianne up in here. Her thing up in here. Crystal points. I am feeling it, y'all. I'm feeling it right now. Thank you guys for being here. You all are awesome. I enjoyed this so much. I didn't do the flames, Carly. They're the best things ever. I'm obsessed with this one. Make Patty short and fat. Ooh, I can only do two more bags probably. Let me see what I got here. Let me try to do like an even split. And these guys. Ooh, Jonathan, you know what I got today? I forgot to tell you. I got a Herkimer, but it's not for anybody but me. I, I saw some. I saw a big one that I thought you would like. Oh, this is just a teeny tiny. That's basically garbage. These I don't have as much left. We'll do we'll just do these as we'll do these as I don't even know. They look pretty even. But they're not as many as that last bag. We'll do uh three dollars on these. And this is all I have. I found a big chunky Herkimer, but it had like a lot of inclusions in it, and I didn't think you would like it. I wasn't too impressed with it, so I left it there. And I left my phone. I would have texted you, but I left my phone at home. Um, and I had no way of doing that. But I did find somebody who I might be able to get them from directly. Like someone who minds them, so. I'm going to see if I can get a good deal. See what they can do for me. But the one I bought is from a personal collection. And it's it's kind of small though. Small-ish. Okay, this one's for Patty. I guess it's not that small. Whatever. Okay, Patty. I'm going to say four on this, okay? Is that okay? I know I said three a second ago, but there's more in it than I thought. Does four sound okay, guys? No, you can't, Patty. I'm sorry. Because Aaron claimed one, too. Aaron was also in. That one's four. Let me see how much is in this one. This one might be a $3 one, though. Sorry, sorry. Lego Boy is here! Hello, Brandon. Welcome to the party. Yeah, this is more like a $3 bag. Whatever, I'll just do three. I know, I said three. I should just stick with what I said, huh? All right, $3. Three points. 
There's still less than that first bag. Okay. Sorry, I'm not looking at the chat. Hold on. Patty and Aaron. Okay. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. A clean double terminated single. I found it double terminated, but it wasn't clean. It was not clean. It was super included. Are you going to let us see? I can if you want to see it. I can show you. Lego is a man now. <laughs> nope. He's young compared to me. Gina Fancy, hey! Gina Fancy's in the house. Oh yeah, you were here. I thought I said hi to you, but I wasn't positive. Wait, what did Aaron say? What did I miss? Give to Patty. Okay. Alrighty, into Patty's bag it goes. Ooh, okay. Patty, I'm dying to know what you're going to do with all those. What are you doing with all those points? <laughs> I fall asleep directions constantly. That's what I do sometimes. It's just like lay in bed with my phone on. Two beef patties, special sauce, sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bunski. You got it. I know, Jonathan, I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> I may annoy you in real life though, but I want to go. I'm actually quite reserved in real life, I would say. Okay, let's talk about spheres. Spheres, spheres, spheres. Okay, this one's 22. Uh, it's a carnelian. It wants to be a carnelian. It's an agate sphere. I've got a bunch of agate spheres on the way, y'all, by the way, if you like agate. Um, okay, so these guys. Let's do these first. These are the smaller ones. Okay, let me show you the size in case you want to hold out for the bigger guy. There you go. There's the size difference. This is not a cheap material, so brace yourselves, y'all. Moons and spheres. Those are priceless. All right, the smaller ones. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll just do that. All right, I wrote down $30 buy it now. I guess I know what I'm doing. So $30 buy it now for choice for someone who writes Moonstone or Moon or something related to that. $30 for choice. Let me see if I can find the... Okay, so there's a little blue flash there. Most of these, it's kind of blue. It's kind of hard to see. Most of these have flash in them. There's only one palm stone I couldn't find flash. So there's some blue flashy there. All right, Maury, I see Maury first, and then I see Patty second. So Maury, you let me know what you want. So this is the, look, there's some more blue in there. Nope. And then this is the second one. I even put, this one has the arrow. See, this is, they said I should sell this at 36. That's what that sticker is. Some of them still have stickers on it. But I drew an arrow on it so I could remind myself where I saw the blue. Oh, there it is. Do you see the blue flash on that one? Probably not. There's some blue flashing there. But this has a lot of the tourmaline in it too. And even the tourmaline has some a little bit of flash to it. So alright, so this is option one, option two. Let me get the sticker off. Option one, option two. Maury's got first pick. These are the small ones. I'm sorry, I don't even like it. There we go. Option one, option two. Camera one, camera two. I'm trying to see if I can find some flash. He's got a little sneakier flash. There's some there, though. Alrighty. Maury wants number one. Patty, did you want number two? 
I have two big ones. Those ones we're going to do on an auction style. But there's two big ones. So if you want to pass on that, that's fine. Just let me know. Glory. You know what, I'm gonna wrap that up a little bit. Let me wrap that guy up a little bit. All right, Patty passes. Is anybody else interested in this guy for 30? Let me know. I know he's got blue, I just can't find it. Ooh, he's got a little bit of blue under the black there. Looks like, this is like the lab. It's just really hard to find those flashes sometimes. Like, especially on the spot on camera. Oh, wait, I saw one. There's blue right there. Oh, there is blue up in there. You just have to get it at the right angle. Anyway, okay, Maury's bag is here. Okay, and then we will do choice of on these beasts. These are choice of starting bid at 50, I think. Yeah, starting bid 50. Their suggested retail price on these, I think, was 65 or something like that. Okay, I see Elizabeth in first choice. You have mail. Okay, let me go look. Oh, that's fair, Maury. I understand not wanting to say that. Um, that's fine. It's not something I typically do, but thank you for emailing me. We that's that's fine. Um, I'll email you back about it. What about the other sphere? What other sphere, Jonathan? What are you talking about? Only have three, right? What are you saying that I'm not seeing? Okay, let me show these off. So these guys have have flash, definitely. That's a, little, a bit easier to spot. Here, I'm going to turn this. Oh, it is turned down. Okay, just kidding. All right, so this guy, see, he's got some blue throughout there. And there. There's some in there, too. And then this guy. Ooh, I saw it already right there. There's some there. Ooh, hello. There's a big old flash right there. And that's the second one. The carnelian. This guy back here is 22. He's 22 by now if you want him because we did the carnelians earlier. The other ones were sold if that's what you're talking about. They are out of here. Do you want this guy? Are you claiming or are you just asking what price he was? Do you want him? Does he tempt you? I think snakeskin agate is what they call that. Or I think that's what it's called when it does that. Oh, see? My camera. Stop. That's the color. That's the color it is. All right. You got it, Jonathan. Thank you. That's it. These are the only spheres I have are the moonstones left. The small one and then these two guys. Yay. Let me put it in some something soft. All right. I think this might round out your box, sir. Oh, he wants to donate him for Family Feud. I almost forgot about giveaways. All right, he's back on the table. We will do that next. I think it seems like a good time to take a pause. <laughs> Maury says, I'm in. All righty. Sally's the only one claiming. I'm going to start calling it. We're at 50. 
if no one else is in, she's going to get a sweet deal on some really nice material. But if no one claims it, that means I get to keep it. So I'm not entirely upset about that. Going twice. Isn't Family Feud so fun? I agree. I concur. All right, final warning. And we are sold to Sally. Sally, that is a score. I can't believe no one else wants those. Unbelievable. Okay, so here's option one. They're both, they've both got their flashes here and there, so it's kind of hard to choose. Oh, totally, Patty. You can have the other one. He's got a good old rainbow in there, too. Right here. All right, so that's one. This is two. There's a little, little spot of rainbow right there. He's got a lot of tourmaline in him. That looks like Africa, as it turns out. You get a continent and a sphere. That's pretty cool. And he's got a good flash right there, too. All right, Sally's in for number one. Patty, you got number two if you want it. Very awesome. Let me cut this down. Can you guys hear all the thumping? Can you hear the children being crazy? Sally, I hate to tell you, but I think I'm going to have to start you a new box. <laughs> I don't know if this will fit in that one. Maybe a little. Okay. Uh, All right, you know what? I can't even wrap it in that. Let me wrap it in this one. All right, you got it, Patty. Thank you. Oh, I put it back up. Dude, I'm sitting. You know why I'm so quiet? Because I was sitting here looking for this. I didn't realize that I had put it back. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, Jonathan. Okay. We're good. We're good. I'm just an idiot, but everything's okay. All right. Hang tight. Used on. Patty's used. Okay, this one for Patty. Love it. That's nice. They did a good job picking those. Those are nice. All right, y'all. We're going to take a break, take a pause for some family feud, and then we'll resume. And then we will resume. Oh, wow. Time to play the family feud. If I can find my thing. If I can find my cards. Can you hear? Can you hear the thumping? What did I do with my cards? I have one randomly on the table. Did we do this one? Yeah, we did do that one. I don't know why that one's out there. Hmm. It appears that I've turned this... <gasps> There's Steve Harvey. I found him. We're good. All right. If you guys are new here, Family Feud, we play. If you win, today we're playing for the... Oh, wait. I didn't... I'm so stupid. I left it out because we're playing Family Feud with it. Okay. So back out of the bag it comes. I'm losing my damn mind. This is the Agate Sphere we're going to play with. Play for. <laughs> and play with, I guess. Thanks, Jonathan. We're offering this up for our Family Feud game today. This edition of Family Feud brought to you by Jonathan Alfaro. <sighs> okay, so here's the deal. If you win, you get this sphere, but you have to buy something to get it. Although Jonathan paid for it already, so I guess it's not applicable to this scenario. 
But when we usually do giveaways, you have to buy something to get it in your bag. All right, what did I miss? Pity or patter of little feet. That's exactly what it is. There's three children running amok. Carol, hey, welcome in. Okay, so Family Feud is just like the game. I know, I'm a hot mess. I am a hot mess tonight. If you've ever seen the show, I ask you a question and you have to guess the answer. Now, usually there's like, I don't know, between one and six answers in order of popularity. And Jonathan, since he's offering this up, will tell us which one we're going to try to try to guess. So... Let us do, oh, okay, all right, well, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. All right, so here we go. There's five answers. Jonathan, give me a number one through five that we're going to try to guess. Sorry, I'm bringing it back in the chat. Right, Carly, 1-800-CHOKE-DATHO? CHOKE-DATHO. What does that even mean? What did I miss? All right, does everybody get the rules? And whoever gets it right will get the sphere. Let's make it hard. The fifth answer, <laughs> it is hard. It is hard. Okay, are you guys all ready? I kind of don't like this one, but we'll do it anyway. All right, here we go. We're looking for the number five answer. Top five answers are on the board. Ooh, let me get this. Let my live stream up. And here we go. Name something. Remember, we're looking for the least popular answer. Name something that begins with the gift of blank. You're trying to guess the blank. So I guess it's at the end of the phrase, the gift of blank. Name something that begins with the gift of Ooh, life is number one. And you guys can guess as many times as you want. Love is number three. No giving. No Christmas. No faith. Gift of gab is number two. Joy, less gab. No, Elizabeth, but I like where your head's at. Goodies. Sympathy here. Sight. Life, virtue, health, life, toys, happiness, love. Keep going. Oh, mom's up cycle and design. Everybody stop for the gift of the magic. Here we go. Here are our answers. Can you see? Bam. Mom's up cycle gets it. I would have never guessed it, but she did. So congratulations and thank Jonathan for your carnelian sphere. That's super satisfying. Awesome sauce. Thank you so much. You have a bag somewhere. Here it is. That will be sent to you with your towel light. Let's do another one. I didn't like that one too much. <laughs> Carly. <laughs> right? What I was thinking. All right, let's do this one. Let me do another card. Ooh, what are we going to play for this time? Let's do... Let's play for the random pig that nobody wanted. <laughs> we'll pay for, play for Mr. Fat Chunky Pig, whose name is Harrison. All right, we're playing for Harrison for the next guy. All right. Here we go. Next one. Hey, mom. Miss Beck. Was that Becky? Am I screwing that up? Did I even say Beck? Yeah, Beck. Beck, you won. So you tell me. Answer. Give me number one through six. Ooh, this one's fun. Give me number one through six, and that's what we'll try to figure out. <gasps> Patricia's here. Is it just supposed to say magic? No. Harrison the pig. 
All right, Beck says number four. So we're looking for the number four answer here, okay? This will be our last one, and we'll go back to the sales. All right, number four answer. Name a reason. I'm leaning into This is my microphone, so that's why I'm like always looking like I have scoliosis really bad, okay? Sorry about that. Name a reason a man who's dating a supermodel might break up with her. Looking for the fourth answer. Name a reason a man who's dating a supermodel might break up with her. Why might you break up with your supermodel girlfriend? I think that's a better, better way to say that. Wait. Oh, man, that's shallow. But no. Too tall. Gained. No, it's not the weight thing. Age costs too much. <laughs> nope. Dumb. Not smart is number three. A fair no. Oh, cheating. Cheating is number two. We're looking for number four, though. Demanding schedule. Mm, not, not quite. But that was number five, anyway. Ugly toes. <laughs> okay. Like, you're gorgeous. She's a butter toe. <laughs> butter toes. She's got the butter toes. It's not anything to do with her feet. Okay. <laughs> Spends too much money. Nope. Needy. Nope. Has no time. Nope. No boobs. Nope. She won't eat. Nope. She's old. Nope. Like, we've had a great 10 years, but you're out of your prime at 35. you got to go. You're too old, lady. Like, no, I promise. I'll do mature photo shoots now. I'm still a supermodel. Like, it's just not the same. you got to go. Strange diet. Nope. Go, dog, go! Hey, welcome in! I was a runway model for Tommy Hilfiger. They don't like to eat. <laughs> yeah, it can't be the diet, because it isn't there. No, I don't know. Just kidding. Too much makeup, not the smoke. Not she gets, sh she gets hit on too much. I almost said it. I almost said the S word. She gets s on too much. That must be it. Not the drugs. <laughs> nope. Not her miraculous recovery of vision. Not pregnant. Think like personality traits, I guess. I'll give you a little hint there. Doesn't like sports. Nope. Man, we might have to try the one on the other side. All right, we're going to stop. We're going to stop. Number five answer is she's demanding. We'll do the other side of this card because it amuses me. All right, number one, she's jealous. Number two, she's cheating. Number three, she's not smart. Number four, she's shallow. Number five, she's demanding. And number six, she's conceited. Oh, maybe, num maybe shallow is what we're looking for. Can we buy a vowel? No, not in this case. All right, let's do the other side, you guys. Same one. We said four, right? Looking for the fourth answer. All right. <laughs> and don't be offended by me. I'm just reading the card. Okay. Here we go. For Harrison the pick. Number four answer. Tell me what you think the most boring state in America is. The most boring state. And go. I'll watch. I'm watching the chat. We suck at this game. Sometimes, yes. Yes. Not mean. <laughs> oh my gosh, what am I looking for? Number four? Okay. All right, stop, stop, stop. Everybody stop. Carly's got it. Idaho is the number four boring state. All right, here we go. Number one, North Dakota. Number two, Nebraska. 
but Nevada has Nevada has a uh, Vegas. Number three, Kansas. Number four, Idaho. Number five, Iowa. And number six, Utah. Which my husband would argue because he likes to snowboard. And they have some snowboarding activities there, apparently. All right, who's offended? Yay! Not me. I've only lived in one state my entire life. Multiple places, but only one state. All right, Carly's got it. You've got Harrison the pig. I hope you love him. I'm going to uh, put a note on him or something. So I know he goes to you. Carly gets the pig. All right. Use them. I'll just stick them over here for now. You win, Harrison the pig. <laughs> I was shocked I was wrong. Sorry. Apparently there's a lot of boring states to contend with. All right. That was fun. I love playing Family Feud. Okay, back to sales. Bam, let's get this camera turned around. Congrats, Carly. That was fun. Alrighty. Back at it. Wow, look how unappealing this table looks. Let's make it prettier. All right, what else we got on this list? Back to the list. Where's my list? Obsidian Sheen. Sheen Obsidian is next. Sheen Obsidian. Those are these ones. They're all priced with what they think. I'm going to take a couple bucks off of those, but I think those are pretty fair prices. Um, so one by one, these are going to be buy it nows. Thanks, Carol. All right, Sheen Obsidian. These are all buy it now. So if you want them, just say the number, okay? Sheen Obsidian. Buy it now. Type the number in the chat. And then we shall know. I know, we're going to do the pumpkins. I keep forgetting, but they're like, they're on my list, but they're at the bottom of the list. That's the thing. We've got, we've got obsidian, petrified wood, lion head, the chief, and then the pumpkin. But like, if you're in a rush or something, I can go get them. All right. So this one, this is the first one. Sorry. Ooh. So there's three of them. They all have different shapes. They're just like free forms. This is... We'll do 18. I'll take two bucks off of that. 18. And I, I can tell you they're from Mexico in case you're wondering what that sticker says under there. So this one is, what did I say? 18. 18 for this guy at this free form. I think he's the mid, mid range one. This one's a little smaller. Oh, just kidding. They do it by weight. So I guess they weigh the same. That one will also do 18 on that. Oh, he's got the whole sheen thing on the bottom, too. Does the other one? We'll say 18-1 and 18-2. Are you sheeny on the bottom? You sure are. You just have to catch him at the right angle. But the top is very obvious. These remind me of, like, scoots, like, from a turtle. Woo! Okay, that was two. And then this is the biggest one. This one says 28. We'll do 26 on him. I'm sorry, I'm getting my fingerprints all over it. I so regret. I think I told you guys I had a giant sphere of this stuff and I sold it and I really wish I didn't. I guess technically this is silver sheen obsidian. All right, so what is this? 26, 18, 1, 18, 2, if anybody wants them. All right, Maury, did you want this guy for 18, the first one? I saw the number one in there. Or did I? Or is it an arrow? Hold on, let me go back to the chat. <laughs> oh, I missed it, Carly. <laughs> I didn't see. I had a lot of fun when I went to Canada. You got it, Maury. Thank you. All right, so we've got 18 and 26, if anybody wants either of those. All right. Oh, let me write this down. I will forget. 
I will forget. There's Maury's. Okay. If we're just so insulted, we can't respond. That's what it is. Too heavy for a pendant? No, it's not. Your neck's pretty strong. I feel like you could do it. <laughs> oh, shoot. That reminds me. There was a pendant I was going to sell, and I totally forgot. All right, I'll move these aside. Uh, petrified wood. That's what's next. This guy. Ooh, I didn't even price him out. He's a beast. He's a beast. I think this... Oh, I can't even get the whole thing on the screen. This, the only problem with this is I don't know if... This might have to ship separately. I don't know if he'll fit in a medium box. I don't know if he'll fit. He might. He might fit. This is a huge slab <laughs> of petrified wood. This one's going to be a starting bid. Uh, we'll say a starting bid of 55 which I still think is a fabulous deal. I went to a crystal shop the other day. They had a piece that was a little bit bigger than this. 150 for that slab. We'll do 55 here. Did Jonathan, Jonathan see that? I don't know. Jonathan, are you in the chat? Do you see it? The other cool thing about this, though, let me tell you, it's sparkly. Like, it's kind of hard to tell, but there's some, like, agatized material in here, especially over here. That's a little sparkly. Can you tell? You can tell, right? Um, let me see if I can get it up in the light. It's just so big, it's kind of, like, cumbersome for me to hold. I don't know. This is, like, this is a challenge, y'all. This thing is a challenge. Maybe if I do it this way. Oh my gosh. And here I'll do like my hand on it. It's really big. And then here's the back of it. It's really cool. I wonder like how the tree growth was. It makes me wonder if there's like a couple trunks that merged. Because it kind of has the ring thing going on here and then over here. But then also kind of this way. So I'm not sure. And then this is very, very odd, the, like where the bark was. I don't know about this side. This might just be broken off. Like it might have been even bigger. You know what I'm saying? I see glitter. Good. I'm glad you can see the glitter because that's part of the reason I picked this piece. <laughs> the glitter. You know I like my glitter. And I'll give you the stand with it too if anybody's interested. He might be tramping. I'm going to put him back there. He got a piece of petrified wood, though. It looks like a fish, doesn't it? I think it's a little fish mouth. Okay. <laughs> he purdy. I have to agree with you, Lucid. Yeah, there's a lot of auctions. I know. I know. Oh my gosh, even Texas Cal Treasure is alive right now. Good grief. Or at least she was. I don't know. My screen might be old at this point. Okay, what else? We got, what else do we want to see? Lion head. Okay, okay, let me go get the pumpkin. Hold, please. I'm getting it. You know, I forgot I did totally get something today at the crystal shop that I wanted to share, like for sale, that I am going to sell. So that's cool, right? This is the pumpkin. <laughs> this is what all the hubbub is about. This pumpkin. I don't even remember. What what cost did we get this thing down to? He was originally 18. I think we got it down to like 15. It might have even lower. I can't remember. The freeform lab. That one's been on the table. 
Oh god, no, Gina. This is the only one I have. This is the only pumpkin left. 15, okay. 15 for the pumpkin, if anybody wants the pumpkin. Otherwise, he'll go back to sitting on my printer, which is where he currently is. Jonathan is outside with his boys. Are you sure, Elizabeth? Are you sure you're not trying to claim that pumpkin right now? I was going to show you the Herkimer I got. Oh, this isn't it. This is one of the... This was a specimen I was going to sell. I'll just set it on the table for now. It's a smoky quartz. A really, really deep, dark smoky quartz. This one was the Herkimer. Willow! Willow wants the pumpkin! Pumpkin, come on, pumpkin, come on, pumpkin, 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 dance, pumpkin, dance, pumpkin, dance. Thank you. All right. Mr. Pumpkin found his forever home and will no longer grace the surface of my printer. Woo! I did, Gina, but it's for my personal collection. People wanted to see it, so I figured I'd show it. Um, yay! Willow got a pumpkin. Willow, you don't have a bag yet. Yes, you do. I lied. Okay. Pumpkin. Pumpy, pumpy, pumpkin. Woo! All right, congratulations. Oh, did you? Man, this is not an easy material to get. This is the one I got for me. It's actually a bunch, because you know, I like clusters of things. You know what I just realized? First of all, there's stuff stuck to the bottom of it, so that's annoying. It was probably mounted to a like a plate. They do that. Anyway. It looks like there's five. Look, there's a little one. One, two, three. And then the two big ones. Four, five. That's perfect. This one was meant to be mine, y'all. I love Herkimer's. This is the first one I own. I don't know if you guys knew that I've been on the hunt for this material for, like, ever. Look at, look at all the rainbows in there. You probably can't tell, but there's a lot. I want to clean this up, though. But anyway, that's what I got today. That and there's another specimen sitting over there. Herkimer from Herkimer, New York. 50, I'll tell you, I got a good deal. 50 is an actually a extremely good deal on this. But that was the price on this guy. He's going to go up in my crystal cabinet. I'm super pumped about him. Okay, moving right along. Good night, Willow. Thank you for popping in. I appreciate it. The rose quartz and the sodalite. You must be looking at these stones on the table. Yeah, I'm so I'm so jazzed about that thing. All right, this guy. I think these are both 75. If anybody's interested in these, if there's more than one person interested, we'll start like open a bid. But 75 on this guy. So what they do is they crack open the geode and they carve away all the exterior make the geode in his mouth this is it's not quite a blue it's not quite blue but it is got kind of the lacy thing going on here i guess we'll call it's a chalcedony we'll say it's a chalcedony uh lion head and he's big and i'm not sad if he doesn't sell because i think he's cool he can hang out with me the tan and blue palm stone Tan and blue. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. That one's 75. This is also 75 starting. This is the amethyst. I mean, it's quartz. It, it is kind of a faint purple, though, so it's technically amethyst. The chief's head, which is carved on both sides, by the by. So the back side, you get, like, his whole, all the feathers and everything. 
And there's like pink in here. I don't know what that color is, but there's a really dark pink right there. An opalite palm stone. Okay. And then all the jersey on that side. He's super duper awesome. So those are those. Oh, Aaron is in a 20 or 75. Nice. This one, are you looking at the lion head? Or do you want the chief? Do let me know. The Jasper. The one that was that sold? Chief. If there's no other interest, we will get this one into Aaron's hands. I love, love, love this through everything that's going on over here. I know that I like, obviously I like this because I like sparkle, but there's something about the banding and the colors in here that I think is really cool. There's actually like micro crystals in there. I just noticed in this little pocket here. That might be hematite, like a, what is that? There's a black material there. I can't tell what it is and it's a little bit sparkly. Interesting. All right, we're going to call it sold. Are you sure that's a lion? Nope. I'm not. At this point, my thought is that it's up to interpretation. All right, this guy's going to Aaron. Thank you so much, Aaron. This is a like very cool. It's very cool. I'm excited. I'm excited for you to see that. You get some pretty unique uh, claims, I've noticed. I like your taste. I like your style. All right, hang tight, y'all. My pen just ran out of ink. Okay, no, no, not a chance. I have two pens completely out of ink down here. This one looks like it still has ink in it. I'm not convinced. Okay. OMG, come on pen. Okay, back to that. Rochelle, hey, how are you? It doesn't have sharp teeth. I mean, those are it's pretty sharp. That looks like a sharp tooth to me. This one just got filed down a smidge, that's all. I don't know. I see it as a lion. Like a like a female, like a lioness. You see a wolf, huh? Maybe it's a wolf. I don't know. Like I said, it's up to interpretation. A stone for you know what? Petrified wood, I think, is good for memory loss. Not that I'm trying to sell you the biggest item on the table, but <laughs> I think I read that somewhere that petrified wood is supposed to be good for memory loss. Um, but I can't remember. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah, that piece is really cool. I just touched it. Okay, hold on. Let me get through the rest of the list and we'll go back. Oh, wait, we did get through the list. Okay, cool. The piece of Jasper. Is this, I've got, that's Unikite. With a little quartz vein in it. I do believe. This guy? This is a Jasper. If it's any of these, just give me a number. One, two. This is an agate. These guys. That's an OJ. OJ for sure. So do I... Wait, or is this... No, these are both Unikite. Unikites. What else we got here? Looks like a sodalite too. 
This I don't. That might be a demurderite, or it might be a. I don't know. Something blue. Something old. Something new. Here's another blue one. This looks like it could be blue quartz. Or demurderite. It's hard to say. Lots of bloodstone. Some adventuring. Oh, there you go. Emerald. Emerald is a healing stone for memory. It not only helps you remember things for longer, but also helps you treat any problems relating to your memory retention. Besides the pink. Broken neck? Are you kidding me? What happened? I'm sorry to I'm sorry to hear that. Blue, it's gotta be this one. Could this be it? Three blue stones. We've got this guy. Something for her to carry like a palm stone. Oh, this one is it. Okay. This, who was asking about this one? I'm sorry. Thank you for helping me, Elizabeth. Were you asking about this, Aaron? I'll do this for three if you're specifically... Yes. May I buy that one? Yes. Three dollars. Is If three is okay, yes. Okay. All right. I'm pretty sure Petrified Wood is memory one. Let me write that down. But if you need it sooner rather than later, I wouldn't wait on me. Petwood Palms and Emerald Pocket Stone. That one might be hard to come by but i'll see what i can find i will see what i can find is that o ocean jasper i've got a couple ocean jaspers in here i think oh maybe i don't have as many as i thought this one is an ocean jasper this i can't tell man that looks like so light that looks like ocean jasper on that side so ooh. Who even knows? This is agate. That's jasper. This, these might be blue quartz, but there's also a stone called dem demurterite that looks really similar. So it's hard for me to tell for sure, because these are just like a big mixed lot. This is bloodstone, believe it or not, but a jasper family. That's definitely a green jasper of some sort. It might be another bloodstone. So these are all your jaspers up here. Jaspers, agates, possibly blue quartz. What do you suppose that is? That looks like a black agate. Huh. Black agate of some sort. This is like a mixed bag of agate. It almost looks like crinoid jasper, but it's clear in between, which suggests it's a chalcedony and not a jasper. Same with this one. I'm not sure what the inclusions are, though. And then I have a bunch of rose quartz out of frame. I'll move them over here. Rose, rose, rose. And you're adventuring. Okay. Pa These are, like, all pocket stones. I do have some palm stones, some actual, like, these I would consider a palm stone. That's Rainbow Moonstone. These are like pocket stones. These are a lot less expensive. If that makes sense. We can start doing more of these again if you guys want. I'm feeling rich tonight. 20 karat diamonds by chance. Only Herkimer and it's not for sale. The brown ocean jasper that looks like it has a tree on it. This guy? You're talking about him? Mm. 
This guy's a nice one. It's great. We'll do we'll do three. We'll do three for that if you want that one. You got it. Three dollars. And who else is asking for one? Adventuring. We'll do three on the adventuring. Carol, if you want the adventuring, we could do three on that. And then what did you say? The sodalite one? The sodalite looking one? That one you can also do three. Do you, or see, I feel bad now because I feel like that one's so much smaller, but that one should have been four. So I'll do six for both if you want those. Okay, and then this one is Sally's. Oh my gosh, Jasper. Okay, and then Carol wanted those ones. Bottom right blue. I'll do two bucks on him. It might be Demurderite. It might be Blue Quartz. Demurderite I'll put in the chat. Demurderite. I think that's how you spell it. It comes in different colors, but blue is like the popular one. So what do we say? Six, seven, eight, eight bucks for the stack. Eight for the stack. Let me know if that sounds good. All right. I might have to stop on account of my pen is running out of ink. Golly. Out of ink. Everything else. Okay. All right. You got it, Carol. Thank you. I'll throw some hearts in there for you, too. He's... No, this one's good. I'll give you a smoky heart, too. Crazy tigers. Did I sell the blue stone in the back? All right. Hold on. <laughs> they lied. This place sucks. I'm out of here. See you later. No one asked you to stay. Good. Okay, blue one in the back. Are you talking about this one? The agate? The chonker agate candle guy? I don't think you want him. You already have a lamp. Maybe you want him. He's a candle holder. I even stuck a candle in there. And it flickers just like a real candle. And there's Druzy inside of it, which is annoying. I wish it was on the outside, but hey. It even comes with the candle. There's that guy. And then what else? The flat one. Are you blue flat stone? Now I'm totally lost. What looks blue back here? Oh, I'm sorry, Rochelle. That was very sad. This is not blue. This is brown petrified wood. A giant chunk of it. That one's 55. This? Does this look blue? This is obviously Freeform Lab. Obviously. And then, I don't know. What else is blue? It's like a chip. Was it the chief? That one's sold, if that's what you're talking about. You missed the chief, Jonathan. That's what you get for being a family man. God. Blue candle holder. This guy is 30. I'll do 30 on him. It's dyed agate. On this one. It's kind of cool. I think they actually sit like this when you see the banding. I think that's like the water level and how the crystal kind of forms. But anyway, the in the geode that I bust open. Gene is in for 30, and it even comes with your very own flickering candle. Let me see if we can, like, I'm trying to make it dark in here. You can see. He's pretty, right? Thank you, Gina. 
You you might. Let me see. Does it work? Bam! There you go. It's slightly awkward, but it totally works. You're right, Jonathan. Good call. All right, let me turn that one off. All right. Thanks, Gina. Okay. Get him off the side. He's too big for a bag. Oh, the goldstone slabs. Those all sold. Well, they're not goldstone. They're hematite. Oh, the line is 75. This guy is 75. Thank you. The lion head or food dog or dragon head or uh, wolf head. Whatever you see him as. He's 75. Thank you, Gina. Let me see if I can get his true color. He's like a baby blue Chalcedony color. My camera is so weird. This one's more... He's not that teal. He's more of like a baby blue. Really nice banding in him. Oh, they even carved little hairs into his chin. And whiskers. Any more blue pocket stones? Yep. This is the last one. $3 if you want it, April. For the packet. The packet stone. If you want yourself a pocket stone, he's three dollars. I don't know if it's demortarite or if it's uh, blue quartz there, but the lab slab. God, I don't even remember. I can't remember how I priced him. I think he's sixty-five, but I can't remember. All right, you got it, April. Thank you. disappeared for a second. Oh, Jonathan, do you want to see my Herkimer? Squirrels are all gone. I'm sorry. What kind of stone was it, Patty? Yeah, I had four. They're all gone. Um, let me show you super quick. Sorry, y'all. I'm just going to show Jonathan this little Herkimer cluster I got today. My assumption is you're looking for something larger than this. Is that right? <gasps> Marianne, yes. So this one is like a cluster that the it was probably displayed like this. So there's still some stuff left over from the display. Which is going to drive me nuts until I can get it all off. But in any case, there are five. I didn't realize it until I was showing everybody that there's actually five crystals on here, which is so awesome. Anyway, there's one, two, three, four, and then five is the biggest one there. Isn't it gorgeous? I'll show this off all day. But you wanted something bigger, right? A bit larger. Okay, yeah. The one I saw was like, like this big. But like I said, it was heavy on the inclusions, and I didn't think you would approve. So I didn't bother with it, even though it was pretty awesome. Alrighty. Pigs. Pigs are gone. Pigs are gone. Calcite. That's not a thing. 
these guys, you all, I'm so excited about these. I know Elizabeth hates them, but she's clearly dead inside, so don't listen to her. They're awesome. Look, they're so rainbowy, Elizabeth. How do you not like that? I never even priced these. Hold on. Let me leave that there for a hot second. I have a few. We'll do a calcite stack. Bam. I just want to see how much they are on eBay because I never even looked. The one I bought was 40. Okay, hold on. But I'll give you a much better deal than that. I just want to see how much they are. Uh... I think I just got ripped off, maybe. Well, that one's 80. I don't know. These ones are really nice, though. These three, and then the other ones are a little cheaper. But if you're interested in these, I think I'll probably do 18. They're probably, they're about the same weight. So 18 on any of these as a buy it now if anyone's interested. And then I have the other ones that don't have as much rainbow in them, but these would be cheaper. But they're still cool. And then that includes this giant chonker over here. He is a beast. He's also a separate price, but these are all 18. Chunks of soap. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, basically. Yes, optical calcite. This one is probably the my favorite it's got so much it's got a lot of rainbow in it let me see actually this look. like you have to see them. All right marianne's in at 18 so you'll get first pick this has so many rainbows in it that it's just like not i can't get to show on the camera all right how can i show you how can i show you guys how awesome it is how can you see like look at all this rainbow action happening in there all right so there's that one this one less rainbowy but it still has rainbows and it's super clear like look how clear that is it's like you have forever ice it's awesome no jonathan no stop And then this is the third one. This one's a little more, has a bit more, um, it has some oxid, uh, what is it? Some, God, why can't I think of what it's called? <gasps> Oxidized iron hematite. Staining in there. That's the third one. This is a little more yellowy. Which one were you interested in, Marianne? This one is number one. They're cool, Jonathan, trust me. <laughs> Be nice and buy one. <laughs> this is the second one. One, two, and then this is number three. And then we'll look at the other ones. It'll be a lot more price effective. This was the uh, this is the piece that I got y'all from. No one asked, but I'm showing you anyway. That's smoky course. That's that's cool. You got it, Marianne. Thank you for appreciating their beauty. Marianne knows something cool when she sees it. Yes, Carol, you can have number two, the ice block. Yes. What's really cool also is that you can see the crystal formation inside of there. You know, that's fascinating, I think. Like, I could just stare at this all day. Thank you, Carol. Like, I kind of want to look at it under a microscope. I can't believe I haven't done that yet. I have a pocket microscope to look at crystals because I'm a nerd. All right, let me get this in Carol's bag. Mary. Wait, that's Marianne. Can you this?
All right, hold on, guys. I'm having a uh, brain fart. Okay, this is Marianne's. This is Carol's. Did I put Marianne's into two bags? That would be stupid. Hold on, guys. Crystal points. Crystals and calcite. All right, remind me who bought these. I didn't write your name on the bag like an idiot. Remind me who bought those. I don't even think I wrote it down. I must have. Carol, this is your bag, isn't it? That's Carol's bag. That's Carol. That's Carol. That was when my pen ran out of ink, I think. Carol Corner. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, so this is the last one. That that is that price. This one, I will do six on that. Six, eight, if anybody's interested in this material. Six, eight. Six, eight. Who said 18 on that? He's super clear and pretty. I'll do 15 on this one just because I don't see as many rainbow. No, there's some rainbow in there. But whatever, 15. 6, 8, 15. And then this guy, I have to do 20 on him. This thing is huge. Aaron, yes, you got it. This guy's a beast. Look how fat he is. It totally does look like the soap. <laughs> All right, Aaron's in first for the $8 one. Oh, retracted. Patty, you got the eight. Aaron wants the 15. You got it. There are still a good amount of rainbows in this guy. He's super cool. All right, hang on. Let me write this down. Yay, thank you. Okay, just to let you guys know, Patty, Elizabeth, I'm sorry, not Elizabeth, Sally, Patty, and Jonathan, uh, your boxes are going to ship, and I might have to start new ones. Not, I think yours will ship. I don't think I need to start you a new one yet, but you other ladies, I'm going to have to start a new box, just so you know. Aren't they cool? It's like the, oh, they're so cool. This is like how they grow. This is the equivalent of a quartz point is the calcite crystals. They grow like in rhombohedrons. They're cool. All right. And then Aaron wanted the $15 one. Sorry, I'm bumping everything. I know. All right, so we just have these two left, which is six and 20. I'm going to set them over here. And I had a request for the moonstone palm stones, so we're going to do those. Got any? Pam, you can spray on those rocks to squeeze more in more. No, because the paper absorbs the Pam, and it doesn't work out the way you would think it would. Sorry to say. Palm stones. All right, this one is 12. The other two are 13. The reason this is 12 is because I can't find any blue flash in it. It might be there. I don't know. But this is still a nice nice piece of moonstone. Wait, is that it? There might be some under the sticker. Let me get the sticker out of here. The sticker's at 12, just in case you were wondering. There's some flash in the tourmaline there. These are all buy it nows too, by the way. That one's 12. So am I, Elizabeth. I know I suck at being funny, but there you go. This is 13. And this one does have the rainbow flashing in it. If we can find it. There's some there. There's some there. Oop, there's some under my thumb right there. All right, so that's 13, and then 
This is also 13. His hair, it's over here on the side. See the blue? All right, Barbara's in for 13. Which one were you interested in? Number one or number two? Woo. One or two? Okay, the stickers are so distracting. One or two? One, you got it. Thank you, Barbara. Yay, that's Barbara's first purchase. Thank you, everyone congratulate her. She also won the giveaway and I forgot to send it out, so this is perfect. I'll send them all together. Um, scissors, scissors. There they are. Yay. Does anybody want to see the flames, the polychrome flames? Carol needs me. Which Carol? What did I miss? Carol wanted something. What did you want, Carol? Oh, the rose pocket stone? Wait, no, that was, okay. All right, hold on back. Carol, Carol, Carol. I'm sorry, Carol, I missed it. The two Jaspers and Rose Quartz, okay. All right, Jaspers, Rose Quartz, I only have one Jasper. I got Rose Quartz for days. And there's two of you that would like Rose Quartz, so tell me, are you interested in pocket stones or rabbits? <laughs> I've got one rabbit. All right, let me get this in to uh, Barbara's bag before I forget. What are the two to the left? These are Unikite, if that's what you're talking about. Uh, I see a bat. I'm sorry, I'm making this table so shaky. Okay. Darker Jasper and two roses. Okay, hold on on the roses because I've got a couple requests for the rose. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree, Elizabeth. I think they're awesome. Okay, Carol wants two Jaspers. The darker Jasper. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I have this, which is like a, I think it's an agate, like a black agate. This is the only other identifiable jasper on the table if this is what you're talking about and then i'm not sure if that's what you're talking about let me know and then you said you wanted rose who else wanted rose though someone else wanted rose quartz beck wanted rose rose quartz pocket stones i have small ones and they have this is the largest i have and then i have some smaller ones um You said you wanted two. Okay, this guy? You're talking about this one? Are you talking about these four? Not talking about Rose Quartz right now. These four right here? Is that what you wanted? Can you even see them? I'm not even on StreamYard. Okay, go back. These ones. And then we'll talk about the rose quartz in a second. Okay. Let's say four. Ten? Would you do ten for those four? And then we'll figure out the other stuff in a second here. Well, let me, tell me, y'all. Did you want... 
for Beck and Carol, what size pocket stones do you want? These are what I have. This is the biggest one. Um, and then this one's got like a, I hesitate to call them cracks, but without, I mean, for lack of a better term, there's a crack in that one, just so you know. This one's got an inclusion and in it. it looks like a crack, but it's not. That's the smallest one. That's the biggest one. So I don't know which one y'all are. Okay. Beck wants the big one. And Carol, you wanted two. Is that right? Okay, so ten on these. Okay, give me one second. You wanted two of them. Is that right, Carol? Okay, I'm going to throw this one to the side since it's got the crack in it because I feel like people are going to be not into that. So do you want to do these two and then Beck can have that one? I'll just do two a piece on these since you have a whole bag going here. So it'll be 14 for all. And then Beck, will you do three on that one? Okay. Yes, okay. All right, that clears those ones out. Nice. All right, there's Carol's bag. Mom's up cycle. There we go. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that, girl. Oh, feel better, Rochelle. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. We, you guys did good tonight. Look at this table. Nicely done, friends. I appreciate it. I've got just four pocket stones left. There's two blood stones that don't have too much blood on them, but they're two blood stones and then two of this mystery agate. Looks like a fossil agate of some sort. We have this a new contender to the table. <laughs> this cool smoky quartz um, specimen. He's pretty awesome. I can do like an individual bag of the pyrite if anybody wants that. We've got the quartz rabbits. I do have the polychrome flames if anybody wants to see those. How much are the flames? Well, they vary. This guy, it says 18. I'll do 16 on that. I'll do 32 on that. He's 46. I'll do um, maybe 43 on this guy. And then this one, I'm having a tough time selling him. So he's going to be 35. I know that sounds expensive, but I don't care. It's awesome. 35 for the awesome one. I can do that. No towers today. I think I have some. Let me check. Let me see what's coming. I was supposed to have an order arrive yesterday. And of course, it got updated today and said it'll be here on Monday. So that's fun. Um, and that one, let me see what's in there. I don't even remember. I can't remember if there's towers. I think there are towers. I might have some red jasper towers coming. Let me see if I can find out. No, that's not it. Wait, Molly Ghana Jasper. Oh, that's the old one. Okay. Hold on. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Pike. Yeah, okay, I'll tell you in a second. I keep saying that. I'll tell you what's in my next box that I'm waiting on. Pyrite Spears. Pyrite Hearts. The Snowflake Obsidian, which was sold out. I've got Citrine Tumbles on the way. Uh, Goldstone Spears. Selenite 
Orange selenite spheres. Ooh, something special. I'm not going to tell you. You'll see it. I have a couple of thick agate slabs coming that I thought were pretty. Interesting. I have no idea what that is. There's something on my order that says spirit stones, and I just don't remember what that is. Fluorite slabs are coming. Uh, some, a couple of word stones that have the word inspire. Citrine points. Just some displays for slabs. Smoky quartz clusters. Why did I buy one today? I don't remember buying that. Whoops. Angel aura ag. Okay, so I have one aura amethyst coming. Aqua. Oh, and then some pendants. Okay, I guess I don't have any towers in that lot. I can't remember who I ordered them from specifically, but I do have some some more of those uh, agate, the Apache agate towers. What is, what is to the right of the petrified wood in the back? I have doo -doo. zoom you in. We've got la the Labradorite slab, the calcite. I know you want that, and then I've got the onyx bookends these really giant onyx bookends these things are gorgeous they're really heavy though isn't that awesome i can't believe this is like natural coloring it just doesn't even look real. that's like what my husband always says about stones but there's some green onyx in here he says he doesn't like them because he thinks they look fake <laughs> i i think they're gorgeous laura omg what mookie Calcite bricks. You need one. Oh, the pink thing? Yeah, it's a flower. It's a beautiful flower. It's a fake peony with sparkles on it. And it's awesome. Laura, OMG. Alright, what I miss? Hey, I spy queens are here. Hello. What? Why are you saying OMG? Mookie Pookie, tell us your secrets. The flames. Okay, I'll do those a little closer. How about that? This is the one that I'm in love with, so it's 35 because I kind of don't want it to sell. But it's also beautiful and totally worth it. Let me go. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. This is polychrome, also known as desert jasper so that one's 35 this one will do 16 on it's like this oh, there it goes just slipping right out of my hand like a bar of soup it's kind of got some pinks in it and blues it reminds me of like a gender reveal party pretty pretty that one's 16 this one I'll do 30 on. And these are priced by weight, by the by. You've been 35 already? Oh, golly. That's hard for me to let that one go. It is the best, though. That's the bottom of it. And then this is the largest one I have that's also really awesome. <laughs> it's totally that this is gorgeous back here too I really like this material I don't know Jasper's so cool for real Sally scored the cool awesome flame I don't blame you it's really awesome should have priced it higher <laughs> look at that though look at the bands in there this is such a gorgeous piece of material I love it all right, Sally is the new owner, and there's the top two. Isn't that cool? These are fun to, like, caress and turn. You got it. This one's 40. We'll do 44 on this one. He 
look at that. That's the side I would have it showing on. I just think it's really cool. All right, Sally. Treat it with the respect it deserves. Those are the three. Okay, let me write this down. All right, hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Listen, listen to that paper tear. Woo! Oh, you don't have to do that. I already overpriced it just because I love it. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, it might be a good price for like everywhere else, but you know what I'm saying. When I get good deals on stuff, I like to pass it on. Uh, Elizabeth. Holly Flame. All right. <laughs> Okay. 40. It's 43, Patty. Is that okay? Actually, I think I said 44, but I'll do 43. Is that okay? Let me know if 43 will work for you. That's like, that's a pretty spot on color of it right there. I don't even want to move it because I feel like my camera is going to lose it. Oh, look at the bands in there. Oh, I love it. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't want to show you, but trust me, it's awesome. Oh, I love this one. I like them all. They're just really cool. And the thing about Jasper and anything in the Quartz family, it polishes so nice. Like, it's so smooth and lovely. Oh, and that is fun. That one does that. I didn't know. Do they all do that? No. Oh, he kind of does it too. He's not as slick though, but this one, that one is, oh yeah. He's a dancer. All right, you got it, Patty. Thank you. Treat him well. Treat him well. Let me take the sticker off. The distracting sticker. Butte. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. I mean, it's only three dollars. What? That's nothing. Polly Flame. Alrighty. Um, I'm running out of paper over here. You guys are running out of bag room. No, I want him to dance. He doesn't need to. He doesn't need felt. This guy, I think I have more clusters coming. I don't know if I should sell him or wait for the other ones to come and see what they look like. Any fancy, though? I love this piece. But he, I don't know. If you guys want to talk about him, like actually bid on him, we can do that. But I do have more coming if you want to wait and see what the other pieces look like. All right. Going back in the live chat. Just the way I like them, Elizabeth. <laughs> right? I forgot that I got more. I didn't realize I had more smoke, smoky quartz coming. I truly did not remember that. But that's good to know, I suppose. Okay. I think that like that pretty that cleared the table up pretty well today. You too, thanks for popping in. Hit that thumbs up on the way out. I do have oh that's the palm. We'll leave those out over here. What do I have? I don't remember what I was gonna say. All right, cool. 
So just to recap what we have left, we have a couple of the sheen obsidians. We've got the calcite, the bookends, lab freeform, giant petrified wood slab, sphere stands, moonstone, palm stones. We have these four pocket stones left. I have a handful of pyrites, rabbits, flames, that guy's head, amethyst. I think that's it. Please, please, pretty please. Can I have a bloodstone pocket stone, please? Yeah. All right, who else? Can I have a steer sand, please? Sure. These are the small, what did we say, guys? Four and three? The big ones are four, the smaller ones are three. Do you have a preference? And this is like film on it so that it, um, is protected on the sides, but they are clear. So let me know if you want a $4 one or a $3 one. Miss Jury Lady? The bigger one, you got it. Pyrites, pyrites. Patty, do you want, are you interested? You didn't like these, right? No, you got one. I, you have one already. You have one of those. You have a sparkly one in your bag. Do you want them individually or do you want a little bag of them or what? Because they're uh, kind of mixed on the sizes. And Patty, do you have any interest in any of these? Let me know if you want one of these. Um... I don't know. They're just, this is such like a pricey material. That I'm like, I feel like they're small to be pricing them individually, but I might have to. I might do $1. I feel like that's so cheap. It might be a twofer. Yeah, he's a two. Say one, two, three, and four on price, unless you want to do a mixed bag, and then I'll give you a, a deal. Ain't that your name? I guess it, you can call me whatever you want. <laughs> can you imagine? Oh my gosh, if you got hit, if you got hit with those, that would that would really hurt. That would not feel good. I like the one you have with the tumbles on it. Oh, this one? No, that wasn't. This was the one. But it's totally plain on the back side. But I put one in your bag already, Patty. That was, I selected for you. A sparkly one. Unless you want a second one. I'm a hillbilly, you know. Do you have a southern accent? Beat the living stunt out of that dude. Okay. The, if you want a bag, we can do a bag. But if not, we'll do one, two, three, four. And you just tell me what price you want and how many. I got three of the bigger ones. Here's the... He's a big. It's just not a cheap material. I would love to go lower on it, but I can't. Yes, a bag. All right. Okay. All right. That's me rubbing my hands together. Can y'all tell I got zero sleep and rumming on fumes? I'm always goofy then. Well, goofier. <laughs> I'm sure your laugh sounds nothing like that. That's my southern lady accent. I hope you liked it. Although I'm sure you're not a redneck. I'm southern talking. Mm, I like it. I like it a lot. Alrighty. What would we say? Four, three, two, one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. 
I'll throw an extra in there. 10? 10? Would you do 10 on this bag? Want a bed? <laughs> no. 10, 4, 5. So it comes down to two a piece, but they're all different size. You let me know, Patty, if you want to do 10 on those. I love pyrite. I love it. I want like a ring. Obviously, that wouldn't work. All right, you got it. Yes. Oh, that'll that'll knock a sucker out in a flat heartbeat. You right, girl. You right. I would not want to be hit with that sack. I do not want to be on the receiving end of Patty's iron, whatever these things are, pyrite sacks. No, sir. Oh, Patty. Now I gotta say me and more in my southern accent. Me and more. Grassy ass, me and more. Ooh. Alrighty. Ten. Pyrite. Okay. Alright. We're going to start shutting it down. <laughs> You're sounding like my family. Well, girl, I'm in the South, too. What can I say? I just, I was raised in that Northern Virginia, and you know they all might as well be Northerners up there. Ugh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. See, I store, I told you, I hoard. Look, right over here. This is my hoarding pile. It's small for now. It grows and gets cleared out, and then I hoard more stuff onto that pile. Because that's what it do. Woo. I just have some pieces over there I think are cool. Anyway. All right. If you all aren't interested in anything else, we might call it a day. Patty, do you want these pocket stones? Do you want, do you want to pick one? For being such an awesome gal. If you're interested, I'll throw one in your bag. You just let me know. Price on zip bunnies. They're uh, 10. Unless there's more than one person interested, then we'll open a bid. But they're 10. Quartz. Rose quartz. If you're interested. Let me see if I can get this camera to focus. Oh, hey. All right. Okay. Sometimes the camera wants to play nice. So that's cool. And that's the ruse. All right, I'm going to give you this one because I like this one the best. Okay. I'm going to slide that off in there. All right, you got it, Mom. Thank you. And now, Beck, do you have, would you like one? Would you like a bloodstone or a mystery agate? Let me know. I'll throw it in your bag. Okay. Do tell. Oh, Jonathan, you're so sweet. If you want, I mean, we can do that. All right, Court's Bunny. Everybody come back. We're going to play the Family Feud. Ooh. All right, don't tell anybody, y'all. Don't tell anybody. I'm giving out freebies over here. Uh, Bunny. Okay, I can already done Bunny. Jonathan, thank you for your donation, sir. Oh my gosh, I can't write. My pen's running out of ink, so this might just have. We'll just. This will be it. This will be it. We're done after Family Feud. Okay. All right, last round of Family Feud. For the bunny. For the rose quartz bunny. All right, and this stuff. This stuff will all be here next week, and then some. Let's do the family feud. 
All right, here we go. This is for the Rose Quartz Bunny. That doesn't look pink, but it definitely is. You'll, you'll just have to trust me that it's the rose quartz. Okay. Alrighty, here we go. Last game of the night. We'll be back here on Monday. I'll be back on Monday at 7 p.m. with Miranda the Rehomer. So if you guys like me being chatty and like bad jokes, be sure to be there for that. We'll be doing crystals and jewelry. So it'll be a mixed bag of goodness. Why the emojis? Seriously, Patty? Now I'm going back up. Only if I win it, Jonathan. If not, no dice. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see if it works out that way. Okay. We have 12 people in the chat. Be sure to... Should we refresh really quick? Let's refresh the page. Everybody take a second to refresh before we start. And let me see if this is a good card or not. I don't... I can't remember if we did this one or not. <laughs> oh, that's cute. We'll do that other one next time. All right, hopefully everybody's back. Everybody's good to go. Don't tell me that it's my first time. Yes, Patty, we're going to torture you for sure. Yeah, you can't do that. All right. Here we go, y'all. Family Feud. Oh, Jonathan, pick a number. One through seven. One through seven. Full stalker effect. Yeah. That's what we meant. All right. Number three answer. Is everybody ready to win the rabbit? Here we go. Name a kind of place where someone might say, it's a jungle out there. Number three answer. Name a kind of place where someone might say, it's a jungle out there. And go. Life. <laughs> Facts, but no, not on there. Traffic. Traffic is the number seven answer. Office is number two. Work is also number two. It says work slash office. Store is number four. School. School's number five. First date. I like that answer. It's not on there, though. Not parking lot. Not Walmart. Not the grocery store. Well, okay, here's the thing. You're too specific, Patty. <laughs> too specific. Not the highway. No, go back a few answers and get less specific. Ah, Elizabeth's got it. Elizabeth has it store slash mall. Store slash mall, number four. All right, so number one, New York slash Wall Street. I don't know that I would have guessed that. I probably would have said city. Anyway, number two, work slash office. Number three, downtown slash city. Oh, okay. Number four, store slash mall. Number five, school. Number six, zoo. Number seven, highway. Highway traffic. There are your answers. Bam! Elizabeth wins. Hubert, is that even a name? Hubert the rabbit. Wait a second. Who said mall? Did I miss it? Wait, Christina said mall first. Did she say it before Aaron? Shopping mall. Oh my gosh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Aaron said shopping mall. Aaron wins Hubert the rabbit. <laughs> sorry, everybody, for being a damn slacker, not reading everything. I somehow missed it. 
do my chat like pew, 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 when you guys talk. So I do apologize for missing that. Aaron says, Ma. Aaron, you're good. I'm sorry. No, you got it. You got it, Aaron. You got it. You got it. I just suck at reading chats. That's my fault. All right. You get the rabbit. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Jonathan, for contributing that lovely gift so we can have a final round of something fun. It's Saturday, y'all. Go do something fun tonight. I'll be back here on Monday. Hopefully you guys do something fun tomorrow too. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll see you around the chat. I'm sure I will. Because that's what that's what I do. I'm not just an auction, I'm an auction purchase. All right. Christina did say she did, but she didn't say it before the mall, I don't think. Do I need to go back up? Did I really screw up this time, guys? Dang, Christina did say store first. Man, I just really suck. I'm so sorry. All right, you know what? I'll give you something else. Do you want to pirate this? <laughs> Christina. Shiny pyrite. I don't know where your bag is. You didn't get anything tonight, did you? But I think I have your bag over there. Unless I don't. No, you did order. I'm an idiot. Would you like a pyrite, Christina? You let me know. I'll put it in your bag. Because now I feel guilty. I'm going to put it in there anyway. You can tell me later. All right. If I can find it. Well, I'll find it after the camera goes off. Okay. Going to list on eBay once the kids go to sleep. Have fun with that. Have fun. Give it to Elizabeth. The pyrite? Are you talking about this? Are you going to pay it for it? Make, I make mistakes. I'm okay with you getting this. You just let me know. No. Yes. So let me get this closer so you actually can hear me, huh? Maybe she doesn't like it. Do you see something else you want to want on the table? You let me know. I got other stuff. I got the moonstone. It's probably about the same equivalent cost as the other one. Take something from me, Christina. Moonstone, pyrite, take my stuff. What else do I have? What else can I tempt you with? What does blue mean? You're gonna open my box right now? Yes. You talk about this, this really isn't blue. It's more of a white. It's a moonstone. Do you want the moonstone? Christine, I'm going to give this to you. I just had to find a bag, but you're going to get it. There goes the, the camera slash microphone. Okay, Christina's getting the moonstone. That's how it's going down, y'all. Aaron gets the rabbit. Christine gets the moonstone. It feels good. feels good in the hand. All right, that's it, y'all. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming in. I super duper appreciate it. Be sure to share the channel out, you guys, because once I do 500, I'm going to do a giveaway, and it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. It's something that I would like to have. So, yeah, Patty, make a video. I always see you put pictures on Instagram, but I want to see, I want to see you make a, I want to see you make a video. All right. Oh, thank you, Patty. Your boxes always make me smile. That's so sweet. Thank you. I love when I see the pictures of it because it like, I don't know, it makes me excited that you get something from me and are also excited about it. Because you guys know, or maybe you don't, I don't sell stuff I don't like. So, and that's what makes it hard for me to sell sometimes because I like everything on the table. 
you may or may not have noticed that the garden quartz tower and the uh, tricolored calcite are no longer on the table. And that's not because they sold. It's because they're in my cabinet now. So, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Like a reaction video. Patty, do it. Do it. Can you, like, open it and we can see your reaction on film. She's thinking about it. Pressure her some more. Maybe she'll do it. Alrighty. That's it. That's it. That's all she wrote. Share the channel. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I will see you all around. Be back here on Monday at 7 p.m. for me and Miranda to hang out and geek out together. It's going to be fun. And yeah, hopefully I see you all in the next one. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. Bye, y'all.